Yo, what's going on? What's happening? What's good, Yui gang? What's up? What's up? Let's pick a guy. A big bunking type of man. We'll go with Kratos. Why not? Why not? Okay. We need a name for the character. And I need to figure out which one I want to go with. Ah, uh, Frog, what's going on, man? Um, I think we're going to be going all into strength. We're going to be using a big bonking weapon. I don't know which one I want to use, but I know I want to use one. Like, where's one that has, like, high amounts of strength and, like, not much dexterity? This has 12 dexterity. I didn't need 12 dexterity. I didn't need 11 arcane either. What is this? Prophet, samurai, prisoner. We got the wretch. When all else fails, we just have no idea. Cool. Big bonk. Okay, I'm um, pick a strength weapon. We need a strength weapon to go through the game with. Very large, biggest of bonks. It doesn't care about their moveset. I just need something that does like high amounts of damage. I'm not sure if I want to go with the giant crusher because that's still pretty heavy. <laughs> I'm not sure if I'm going to meet the requirements. The great club, I mean, something that can be infused. <laughs> Something that can be infused. Because obviously I'm using Prayerful Strike. Knight Rider's Glaive. Great Stars, easy. But the thing is, I'm only going to be hitting like one time. I'm like not going to be able to proc Bleed. I could potentially proc like Frost or something like that. Right? Because I could proc Frost like a bit faster. But even then, I probably wouldn't even proc a, a Frost status effect. Wait, wait, if, I keep, if I keep spamming the button, I probably could. <laughs> because I do get like a lot of hype promise, so I potentially could do that. That could be a thing. Anyway, um, Chef, Melody, Cress, how things? What's going on? Bunga Bunga, yes. That is correct. Hmm. I know it like something that has like a decent amount of range too. Or should I go with the um the golem's halberd? And if you guys want to use prayerful strike. Hmm. I don't know now. <laughs> we have time to think about it. Just did a Vigor only run and it was genuinely easier more than the balanced runs that I've done. <laughs> Vigor is a very solid stat. Uh, Marisol, what's going on? The Greatsword. I guess you can't go wrong with the Greatsword, that is true. He's late? Yeah, I'm late. I woke up late. Great Stars seems to be the best. Should we go with Great Star's Blood Flame Blade? Like, I, I don't know. Like, do you guys think I could proc Great Star's with Prayerful Strike? I proc Bleed with Prayerful Strike? Like, I do get Health Regen as well, but like... <laughs> Prayerful Strike's gonna be getting me most of that Health Regen. Probably? I could probably, maybe proc it like one time. I don't think Prayerful Strike removes the buff. Great Mace? I mean, Great Mace is probably very fitting. But the thing is, like, the Prayerful Strike animation is, like, the exact same. For all, like, the weapons. So, like, going with something that has the highest amount of AR is just gonna result in the highest amount of damage. So, like, a good mix-up. I think, like, the Great Sword or, like, the Golem's Halberd. Would be like the best mix of like range and damage. I think you could honestly get more damage with the greatsword. Have you heard of the finger? They serve 
But then again, it does do standard damage. But how many enemies that you fight in the game that are weaker to striking damage? Except for like Radagon, I think is the only one. Of like the bosses that I would fight in this run. How does the secular leveling work in the upcoming DLC? It'll be like, um... You can't put Prayerful Strike on a Greatsword? I thought you could. Maybe you can't. Not like not like a, a Colossal Sword, not like a regular Greatsword, you know, like the Greatsword Colossal Sword. Gugs's. Hmm. Um, anyway. But the way it's gonna work... Well, the way that it works in Sekiro... Is that you kill a boss, and then it gives you like an item, and then you use that item at like a bonfire, and it improves your damage. So I'm guessing it's going to work somewhat similar to that. I'm not sure if you guys are going to be like consume the item or just having it in your inventory would just work as just you getting more damage. But it will just be specifically for the DLC section. That's not going to work in the base game. Recently saw a video of someone face tanking Millennia in an all hit run. It was absolutely insane. <laughs> Absolute Chad behavior. Hmm. Okay. Nice jump. So the lead plus physical reduction face tank combo would be hilarious, but like you already got decent hype armor. With Prayal for Strike. And the animation is not like that long, right? But it might be something I do anyway. We'll see. We'll see how the run's going. Like, I've played with Prayal for Strike a decent amount. To know that it's really good. But I haven't done like an entire playthrough, so. How many hours total do you have in the Souls games? Like, all of them in total? Um, probably like upwards of... Four to five thousand, I want to say. There's going to be a significant patch before the DLC? I'd hope so, honestly. I'd hope so. Like, if they're going to put all this effort into, like, balancing, or make sure that you don't get overpowered, you'd think they'd probably make, like, a little bit of a balancing tweak to some of the weapons. It probably won't be, like, just beforehand, because people are pretty, like, now preparing their characters. So that's probably a reason for them not to do it, because they don't want to fuck up the people that are preparing their characters right now. So if there is going to be one, it would probably be soon. I don't see them, like, doing it, like, a month or, like, a week beforehand. Maybe a month beforehand, they could probably do it. Um, do you have a... You have to get the Heavy Whetstone, yeah. I'm probably just going to leave it standard infused until I get a Heavy Whetstone, or, like, the... The, what do you call it? The Iron Wet Blade, whatever it's called. Love some info on the leveling thing for the DLC. We don't really have much, but like, it's just gonna. I'm guessing it's just gonna work like Secular. Like, you'll kill a boss, and maybe every single time you kill a boss, it will just give you like a passive buff specifically for that region. That's just gonna make you do more damage, and maybe it potentially works with things like status effects too. I'm not sure if like the enemies just have boosted resistances. And like you grab an item and there's resistances get lowered or our damage gets increased. I'm not sure what it's going to be. What would you want buffed or nerfed? Um, well obviously I wouldn't want any nerfs, but... <laughs> if there is nerfs, there's nerfs. Like if I understand if they end up nerfing, you know, Mogwins, Blasphemous Blade, Darkman. I understand if they Yo! did. I wouldn't really want them to, but... Um, Conqueror, thank you for the sub, man. Thank you for the prime sub. Five months in a row, damn. W for Conquers. Had a prime gaming sub. And used it on your boy. Um, like to know if you... Some of the infusible ashes you consider the best. Um, well, what weapon do you want to use? I'm going to end up coming out with a... The reason why I'm doing all these runs is because I'm eventually going to have the top... By uh, ranking all the ashes of war. The infusible ones. I usually don't comment, but I want to say I appreciate you streaming and constantly posting. And in my time zone. Oh, nice. Thank you, Glob. Glad you appreciate the content. Mm -mm. 
probably be easy to increase our damage. Yeah. That is true. Mm -mm. Um, is it more annoying to get to Millennia than actually fighting her? <laughs> yeah, getting through, like, the Consecrated Snowfield. And then going to the Halig Tree, yeah. Definitely be a pain in the ass. But it's fine, though. Hmm. Okay, so these are the options that we're going to be using for a weapon. It's either we get... Guts' Greatsword. Well, actually, let's confirm if we can actually put Guts' Greatsword with, with Powerful Strike. Um, where is it at? Ash of War. Usable on axes and hammers. Okay, so it's not on the Colossal Swords. It says Colossal Weapons, Great Hammers. Okay, so my options are... Maybe like Golem's Halberd? Great Stars? Um, potentially Rusted Anchor? Oh yeah, yeah, Great Mace. Which one? Like, obviously, Great Stars does add to the healing, but it's like, what? Well, what's Great Stars healing? It's like 1% per hit. Like, Great Stars healing would work better with, like, weapons that just hit faster, or with Ashes of War that hit faster. Prayerful Strike is going to be hitting, like, once every, like, five seconds. Ah, uh, Cryptic, what's going on, man? I'll be here and there today, cleaning the house. All goods, bro. You have fun cleaning the house. One of my favorite Ashes of War in the game. It's really good. Have you seen the trailers for Dragon's Dogma 2? No. I have not. Mm -mm, yeah, I'm Ramadan Mubarak, man. It's fasting season. We here, though. Can be applied, yeah. I decided to bite the bullet and finish Demon Souls for the first time. And how did you find it? Um, a flower. What's going on, man? Enjoying the content and the info you provide? That's good. I appreciate it. Glad some people find my content helpful. Mm -mm. We'll have lots more videos coming along the way. The Helig Tree. <laughs> I know, you guys are going to be playing Dragon's Dogma 2? Ah, uh, Bernard, it's gone, man. How are things? What's up? Um, Prayerful Strike scales with weapon level. It's just your AR. Just your AR. Has nothing to do with faith, which is really good. You have to level up your faith, doesn't do holy damage. Nothing like that. Yes. So that's why I can just go into, like, anything. Like, whatever gets, like, the highest amount of damage. But, like, I want to get, like, a good mix of damage and range. So that's, uh, that's why I was thinking Golem's Halberd. But I'm not sure if Golem's Halberd gets, like, the best strength scaling, does it? I'm not too sure. Um, I watch your content even though I already know what the best 10 weapons are. This is a chill and nice time overall. Thank you, Throbbing. That's a real Yui fan right there. <laughs> it's like, I already know. But I'm gonna be here anyway. Put on the, the Great Stars? A lot of people have been saying Great Stars. But like, the only reason I put onto the Great Stars is because... It could bleed, but like, I don't think I'm gonna be able to proc bleed with Prayerful Strike. Maybe like once against like one boss. If I do put Blood Flame Blade on it. And honestly, I use Great Stars with like a lot of different Ash of War runs. <laughs> like almost every single Ash of War run that I have. If I can use Great Stars, I do. 
<laughs> Blasphemous Blade is good. Clicks play anyway. <laughs> based. Absolutely based. I just watch your videos and disagree in the comments. Honestly, if you guys argue with the people in the comments for me, that is an absolute blessing. Because for me... Um, let's actually go put on Prayerful Strike when there's a club for now. Because <laughs> normally you get Prayerful Strike and Lendel. So we're going to use Cheat Engine to grab it. It's just, just so we can go through the entire game using it. Um, but yeah, I try to make a conscious effort nowadays to like not argue with the comment section because it can get pretty funny over there. And I get stun locked pretty hard and I get pretty mad. So I'm like trying to like not argue with the comments. Thoughts on Rusty's tier list? I've reacted to it on my channel. So you can watch out the reaction. It's like a solid four hour reaction. Um, it's definitely one of the tier lists of all time. I definitely appreciate him actually ranking all the weapons, because that's something that I would, like, never do. Like, I'll do a tier list. But I know about all, like, you know... Ranking every single one, that's a little bit too much effort for me. <laughs> um, I used Prayerful Strike on my Great Stars throughout my whole first playthrough. Did you notice that the Prayerful Strike was helping with the Blade procking? Because maybe it kind of works... Like, it scales how, like, Prayerful Strike... Because look how slow this thing is, right? That's going to be the animation. Like, am I going to be proccing bleed with that? I watched your reaction, but I'm shocked that Darkman Greatsword is 51 and Vikes number one. Yeah. Um, Kassik, let's go, man. How are things? You said you would rank every weapon. I said I would put them in a tier list. <laughs> in my past two videos, I did mention that I want to make a tier list of all the weapons, but I definitely did say that I'm not going to be ranking them. I mean, I'll probably rank them within the tier list, but I'm not going to make, like, a ranking video. I'm going to do, like, a tier list, and I'll probably do it on stream. And... I would do the tier list, talk about them, and then I'll probably like rank them in their tier lists as well. Um, I actually do have like a ranking of all the weapons. I haven't actually like shown anybody the ranking of all the weapons. Because I don't really agree with it. <laughs> I, would, I need to like fix it up. So I could potentially like just make a ranking on stream and you guys could just like watch me like just do the ranking and you guys can chime in with your opinions. I think for raw strength AI, you might want the Curved Great Club. The Curved Great Club, that gets more range than the Great Mace, right? You, you think, you know, thing is, I want to be, like, aesthetically pleasing to the build. You feel me? So I think that the Great Stars, or Great Stars, the, um, the Great Mace feels like the best pair pairing alongside. Oh, I can't really do this right now. Right, actually, you probably could. We'll just do this. Have you done a Clayman's Harpoon for an Ice Spear run? I haven't done an Ice Spear whole playthrough, maybe? I don't think so. I think I've used it, like, you know, in one random run that I did. Or, like, a randomizer or something. But I'm pretty sure I'm doing, like, a somewhat of an entire playthrough with it. It must have been... Actually, I forget now. I don't think so. Prayerful Strike does some big boy damage, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> but I don't think I really need to do an Ice Spear run. Like, Ice Spear is, like, amazing. I think it's, like, top 10 either way. <sighs> the Pickaxe... I was thinking of going... Oh, the Pickaxe would be better than the Rusted Anchor, wouldn't it? Because you're gonna get more damage with the Pickaxe, right? Wait, wait which one gets the most amount of damage? I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure the Rusted Anchor would. Oh, I'm forgetting now. I think Rusted Anchor gets higher AO. Because I'm pretty sure it gets the better scaling, the better A scaling in strength. 147 pickaxe. Yeah, the Rusted Anchor gets more. Hmm, is Prayerful Strike good on the Mimic Tier? I would assume so, because it heals the Mimic Tier for 30% health every single time that he uses it. 
And yeah, are we doing a level one run? No, no, we're not. Do you think they'll make highly um, holy weapons more? Vo okay, geez, I can't speak. Do you think they'll make holy weapons more viable in the DLC? I want to blow bubbles. I think that the holy weapons will be just as viable as everything else. I don't think enemies are going to be weak at their holy damage. If they're going out of the way to make enemies like, you know, pretty resist and actually have a whole system implemented to where they can't just break the whole game and have a different leveling system, I think it'd be counterintuitive if you actually had like a bunch of bosses weak to a particular damage. Um, so, yeah, I think it would be pretty viable, but just as viable as everything else. I don't think we're going to get a lot of bosses weak to holy damage, but I also don't think we're going to get a lot of bosses weak to holy damage, but... I mean, immune to holy damage. Or just resist the holy damage. And the other damage types will be pretty decent against them. Because that's what it's kind of like in the base game. I still think we're going to get 80% resist bosses. Like, almost definitely we're going to get an 80% resist holy boss. But I think it's going to be 80% resist in a lot of different stats. Because that's how it's worked in the other DLCs for the other games. Like, typically, all the DLC bosses across all the games will be very elemental resist. They're, like, not weak to anything. And, like, maybe the element they're most weak to, they're still not going to take much damage out of it, you know? So even if there is a boss that'd be, like, weak to holy damage, it'd be, like, 60% resist compared to, like, the 70% resist or something like that. That's what I'm guessing, because that's how it's worked in the other games. Um, no Moonvale on the top 10? No. Moonvale is like top 20, top 15 maybe. I think like Wing of Astel and Death's Poker are like better dexterity intelligence build uh, weapons. Mm -mm. Um, if this was PvP, then Moonvale would be up there. <laughs> PvP, Moonvale is definitely top 10. Um, but in PvE, it's still really good, but like... The damage for the FP cost isn't quite there. As it is for like the Death's Poker and Wing of Astel. But it's still really good though. Did I do a Cranial Vessel? Yeah, I did do a Cranial Vessel. Best Sombra Katana? It probably is the Moonvale. I don't think there's anything close to that in terms of the best Sombra Katana. Mm -mm. Acts like Dexter from Dexter's Laboratory. What? <laughs> We're doing Grape Mace. I don't know. The reason why I wouldn't want to go with the Rusted Anchor is because the range isn't that great. I want to have something that has decent range too. Okay, we're, we're going to go either... Hmm... Piercing damage would be nice, I'm not going to lie. How much range did the pickaxe have? I, know, I gotta go look it up. Do we sleep in the lab? No. Mimic tier versus black knife teach. I don't really know much about spirit ashes, I'm not going to lie. I've like never made a video on spirit ashes. Because I don't really know much about them. Does pickaxe get pierced? Yeah, it does. Hmm. The fact that the Envoy Longhorn exists means that if bosses are weak to Holy, it's going to get shredded by it. Yeah. And they could say that for like a lot of different weapons, honestly. Which is why they're probably implementing that thing. And why I think a lot of bosses are just going to be elemental resist. Because it's not just the Holy weapons that we have that are broken. But we have basically something for every single damage type that is just broken. And can like melt bosses. Lightning damage has Ancient Dragon's Lightning Strike. Magic damage has Death's Poker, Wing of Estelle, Darkman, Greatsword. Fire damage has the Blasphemous Blade. And the Burno Flame. And your Holy damage has your Envoy's Longhorn. So there is that. Do you have a video where to get to the Moonvale? I don't really have like location videos, no. But you do get it in the... Is it the Jail Cave? Jail Cave or like the Gale Tunnel? I forget which one, but it's the one in Kaled. One of the ones in Kaled. Somewhat towards the beginning. The 
the fourth shortest range out of the great hammers, huh? Unless we just say fuck it and put it on a golem's halberd, what do you guys think? <laughs> Wait, no, the golem's halberd gets standard damage, doesn't it? That's kind of mid, but it gets really nice range, though. Do you test every weapon in the game? I have tested every weapon in the game. At this point, we're just trying to do a playthrough with every weapon in the game. Not really every weapon, but every Ash of War. Um, and every unique skill. So kind of like every weapon. A uh, chainsaw, what's going on, man? The tunnel, yeah. Standard damage is weird. Yeah, I'd much rather have... Well, I've got to pick soon. This prep time is almost over. <laughs> uh, charge up, man. What's going on? Because the thing is, if I go for the Golem's Halberd, I'm going to have to use Cheat Engine, because lovely have to farm for it. Why didn't you try and get a girlfriend? <laughs> because I'm busy doing this, okay? Maybe one day. There'll be times where I'll be like, damn, I'm lonely as fuck. But then you just get on the game, then it kind of goes away. You know what I'm saying? Um, might you also aim to increase your hardness to deflect a resist dagger to get prayerful strike? Iron jar, aromatic, and dragon bolt blessing. But like, there's hardly any like things in the game that can get deflected off dragon bolt, right? We could go with the iron jar ar aromatic because there's not really much that I can put on in terms of like a crystal tier. Can I be your bay? No. Since I have this many souls, I might as well go buy some, some things. Yeah, we stuck in prep. Such is life. Why did Mo capture Mikola? Um, to marry him. So, for power, I guess. I don't know. I'm not a law person. <laughs> That's what I've been told, though. Maybe it was Mikola the one to set him up the entire time. Who knows? Where is your sense of adventure? What? Just marry Ronnie? <laughs> Watch like half the playbase sim for Mikula and the DLC as well. Yeah, the Souls fan base is... They're pretty cool. <laughs> FromSoft fans are very funny people. Good group. Good group of people. Oh, come on. Why would you go that way for? You had a good thing going. Come back this way. No, you're doing it wrong again. That's not a good sign for the run, boys. Not a good sign for the run. There we go. No, no, you had it. There we go. Good job. Now do the thing. You. What is he doing? This guy. Thirst Trap Mikkel. <laughs> yeah, what's good? Uh, Grizzly, what's going on, man? We're doing a Prayerful Strike only run, of which we have to beat the entire game only using the Prayerful Strike weapon skill attack thingy thing, whatever it's called. So that's that. Um, I've been following you for a long time. Saw most of your content and made uh, me discover a lot of enjoyable weapons, like the Ordovus Sword. I didn't expect it to be good. Nice, thank you for supporting, man. The Ordovus is a very fun weapon. And it's really powerful, so yeah. Best of both worlds. Pretty good stuff. It's a pretty good weapon to probably take into the DLC, in my opinion. Gonna be doing mainly physical damage. Good ass strength scaling and lots of stance damage. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Let's say we want to use spells then. 
could probably go elsewhere, but you can still pair it alongside the Claw Mark still. Get some decent returns. So, Lara, can you stop being stupid? Honestly. Wish the game had more stance based Ash of Wars with more than one input. But, like, you have to do all the big stance damage in one bonk, you know? <laughs> Has to be in one bonk. It's illegal to have it in less than one bonk. Um, each successful kingdom in the lands between has a god, an outer god, and a lord. Mogwen dynasty would have the formless mother for outer god and Mog for lord, so he still needed a god. There you go. Somebody explained it. Um. Hmm. Okay, so do, do I use a weapon through like cheat engine or just get like one legit? Because if I'm gonna use, because if you have to farm for the pickaxe, right? Put it in Fortnite terms. <laughs> it's like the sword of night and flame, or some oh, like a stance weapon. Oh, okay, I see what you mean. Um, yes, there should be some more stance weapon skills, I agree. Something like the, um, the clean rod spear would definitely benefit of one. I wish that had a stance. We're not gonna farm for a weapon, I'm not gonna sit here and farm for a weapon, you know? <laughs> so if there's gonna be a weapon that we have to farm for, I might as well just use cheat engine. There's no point. Wild how many times I can play and watch people play this game. <laughs> it's a good game. Great Stars is probably better for this Ash anyway. But why though? Why would the Great Stars be better? Demon Souls is pissing me off so much right now. <laughs> Let's take a break if it's, if it's getting you mad. Okay, I see. We're gonna do a poll, okay? Um, one in chat for the pickaxe, two for the golem's halberd, three for the great stars. And four for the rusted anchor. Two, two, two. I'm seeing a lot of twos. Okay, now I've got to count this shit. Okay, um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, nine, ten. No great mace? No, because we're going to go with like... Oh, the great mace would be good. Everyone's saying Gollum's Halberd. Pickaxe is cooler. Great mace is boring. So it's like between... I haven't seen many ones. Oh, there's been a decent amount of ones. Democracy sucks. <laughs> um, okay. What did I say it was one again? The pickaxe? Why is everyone saying two? They want me to use the golem's halberd. Someone can't be cool to see. <laughs> Now, where do you get the golem halberd for? You have to farm the golems for it, right? And... The earliest respawning one would be the Limgrave Tower, which means after Moog. After Moog. After Margit. 10% drop rate. <laughs> it's good standard damage, which is kind of cringe, but you know what? It is what it is. It is what it is. What's the requirements and what's the weight? 36 strength, 14 dexterity. What's the pickaxe like? Twenty-two strength and ten dexterity. 
I'm gonna have to leave like a decent amount of stamina as well just to wield it. Because it's very heavy. Okay, we'll go drop it. Um, we'll go drop the golem's halberd and see how it is. Because <laughs> the rusted anchor is way more forgiving with its requirements. Okay, say if I get dropped an armor set. You know what? Fuck it. <laughs> You guys want to see something cool? <laughs> you guys want to see something cool? For the people that haven't seen this. Hell yeah. <laughs> you guys farm for armor sets? You guys are doing it wrong. Okay, um... Can I like... I mean, I can like medium load if I just put on some like lighter armor. And it's only at 10 endurance as well. I've never seen that in my chain engine. You just like basically control A all the armor. Then you gib. Or you have to like shift click um endurance yeah let's go with the let's go with the golem's harbor it's gonna have like it's not gonna be optimal but you know what we don't need like the most optimal thing honestly it's gonna be good enough it'll be funny and it has big boy range which i appreciate ah uh, chicken what's going on man how many Stevens have I killed in my career? I wish I had those stats. Um, probably in the thousands, honestly. I've killed Steven way too many times. Um, okay, so I need 14... 18. Is that gonna be up to 200? That's not. I need to have this on. Ew, that's still not even enough! Is my math bad? Am I bad at math chat? I mean, I can put it on the strength too. To sign for the pickaxe. We might use the pickaxe later in the playthrough, we'll see. We could always switch it up. We could always switch it up. Um, okay, how many smithing stones do I have? Ten. I need to get two more. Who can I buy smithing stones off? I think this guy sells them. Wish there were more mount options, like outside of torrent. I agree. Is the Zwei Handle longer than the Great Swords? No. It feels like it. it it might feel like it with the heavy attacks because heavy attacks can lunge pretty far. Oh, this thing is so heavy. It's going to take so many souls to level up. Oh, that's so annoying. <laughs> Shoot over the pickaxe. It's fine. It adds another element to the run. Oh, god damn it. Why is she here? Don't forget to put the Ash of Ore on, that is true. I should not forget to put the Ash of Ore on. Let's go get this a plus something and then plus four. Whatever it is. Cheese Grail? Nah, it's fine. I might need more than that, honestly. Oh my god, it's a thousand just to level it up once. Oh my goodness, look how expensive that is. I hate that. <laughs> It's so expensive. Oh, I gotta get back. Ah, uh, smoking, what's going on, man? Gotta go grab flame grammy strength as well. I do have golden vow. Gonna throw on golden vow, it's pretty cool. Strengthen, plus four. Ashes of war. Wait a minute. There we go. Prayerful strike. Standard infused. 
That's good. Okay, so where do I get the iron jar? Wait, no. Iron jar is an aromatic. That, what's... Um, what's the hardener tier? I forgot it's called. Um, flasks. Honestly, I can go into more FP flasks. Because I'm going to heal myself with the Ash of War. True. Very true. I should have picked up the stamina. Tier, but that's okay. Due to the nature of Omen blood and the Blood Mother's influence, it altered Mikola's body. Interesting. Do you fuck with tacos? Yeah, I love tacos. Tacos are great. Aren't the Steam servers down right now? Are they? I don't know. Are Steam servers down? <laughs> I just played the game in offline mode, so... Much of that affects it or whatnot. Okay, let's go kill Margit. Margit. Hold up. I don't need this, do I? Nah, we're good. We good. We good. Best soda of all time. Um, I fuck with Dr. Pepper. I'm not gonna lie. That or just like Coke. Mm -mm. They actually came out this thing. They came out this thing, a um, mango Pepsi, and they got rid of it. They had it like years ago. Have you guys heard of mango Pepsi? That shit was the fucking most amazing thing I've ever like consumed in my entire life, and they got rid of it. I want that back. Sounds like shit. It sounds like shit, but that shit was amazing. <laughs> anyway, how much damage we're looking at here? That's pretty good. Manga Pepsi was shit. I love that shit. That's the shit that I like. Manga Pepsi slapped. Everyone made fun of me, but now I'm vindicated. Bro, it was amazing. Wait, can I tank this attack? Oh, I can't tank the attack. Oh my god, clutch. Oh, I couldn't tank the big hammer. Now I'm gonna have to heal. Wait, do you think I should do this without healing? If Coke Zero is so good, how come they never made a Coke One? <laughs> the sequel to Coke Zero. <laughs> uh, Luchan, what's going on? What the fuck is that drip? What's wrong with this drip? Fine, let's go change out the drip. What do you guys think we should do? I like this. This one's nice. Oh, so I'm wearing the Kratos fit today. We Kratos, true. Um, this one's pretty a banging ass outfit. It's not a good chess piece. Oh, this one's pretty cool too. I like this one. I like this hat. This is a nice hat. I like this hat. I'm fat rolling. Oh. God damn it. Put on something lighter. Okay, now we're good. Now we're good. Come off. I... It's God, you Bull guards and tank everything with a heavy roll. But now I want us to go through the main gate. I think a fat guy chest with no legs slap hard. Maybe when I go spec into more endurance. Okay, so talismans for this run. What do you guys think? Talismans for the run. Is 
We'll probably get Ritual Sword Talisman. I can honestly buff this weapon as well. Hmm. Holy, it's not doing holy damage, we're doing physical damage. Prayerful Strike doesn't do holy damage. It does whatever your weapon actually does. It just has like a holy effect. But that holy effect is just healing you, that's all it is. HP Talismans? Blessed Dew Talisman for more healing? Shibiri's Woe. <laughs> Hakimu guy doesn't look like some cosmic horror this time around. I decided to go with Kratos. I don't know. We want with the strength. Actually, I need. We need to see Kratos' face. Nice. Dragon Crest. I've never used it. Is it chargeable? It is not chargeable. This is the animation. But just with like a light, like you know, cool look. effect. We need to go acquire. If you had the pickaxe, I suggest Spear Talisman. That is true. That is true. You know, we'll probably switch to the Spear Talisman. We'll probably switch to the pickaxe. Later in the playthrough. We'll see. Carrying Filigate Crest? How much FP does this use? It's 20 FP. Maybe. Maybe. Hmm. Okay. Strength? Is this enough? Of course, it's enough now. Oh, I gotta get the wet blade. True. Let's go get that. No switch to the great stars? Nah, probably not. Probably not. Stamina Talisman will be clutch. I think I might get the health boosting tier instead. So it's gonna have the strength tier. I don't know what my other tier is gonna be. It's this way. Mm, mm. I did an Iron Cleaver Prayerful Strike Run. And it was the tits. Love that R2. It is a pretty fun R2. Can I not die here, please? Offhand the Total Shield? It's a bit too heavy. Um, where do you get this weapon? You get it... I mean, like, I got it off Cheat Engine. But you normally get it off farming the golems. Whee! The golems on the bridge, past market. Farm the one with the um the halberd. It's a ten percent drop rate, so it might take a while. Okay, so should I go grab prayer flame, flame gummy strength? We probably will grab that. Now I kind of wish I went with the pickaxe. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> it's fine. It's okay. You can heavy load max defense talismans, out heal everything. I probably could, but I still would like to be able to roll. I'm not gonna lie, like still like a regular ass roll. I could still get the ritual sword talisman. There's one in the Limgrave North from Bernard, if I'm not mistaken. Is there? Um, real. Thank you for the follow, man. What's going on? More equipment load and bull goats. I didn't need... I didn't think I'd need more equipment load. Because I don't think the poise will scale, right? I think this is going to be a flat amount of hyper armor. 
every time. I don't think it stacks with like the poise that you have. Wait, does it? I don't know. I think you'll trade too much for the ritual sword. Maybe. That could be like me getting more times at full health though. Because I'm healing as well. Gets the Great Helm. I wanted to see my Kratos face though. Marika is the true villain? Probably. But what if it was Mikula all along? What if it wasn't Marika? It was. But what if it wasn't? Oh, I should have kept running this way because I didn't hit up the grace, did I? Because I gotta eventually go to the smoldering wall. That's fine. Um, plus four, we can go. Let's just go kill Godric. One of your fashion contest top ten too. That is true. I did do a fashion contest. Wait, I got flame grammy strength so I could use it, you know? <laughs> Is there a way to boost the heal? No. Mm -mm. It was Bok. It's all Bok's fault. I might do another fashion contest sometime. I'll probably do it after the DLC, actually. We'll incorporate DLC armor and shit. More HP, better heal. Yeah, but it's still like the same percent of healing. It's still the same 30%, but yeah. The more health you have, the more you get healed. Can I tank that attack? He sure that he just missed anyway. That's cool. I can tank that attack. Can I tank that attack? I can tank that attack. And that's a poise break. You love to see it. Easy game. I can use it again. Because there's a decent amount of stamina. Oh, I couldn't get my shit off. No <laughs> whiff rick. It does a decent amount of stance damage, though. Oh, come on, dude. Die. Easy game. This is nice. Armor set ranking in the Soulsborne games. Imagine if this was like a spin to win. I could do like a double swing and one charge heavy. Oh, and imagine if this got poking attacks or like a unique light attack combo. And I'll have like this beat only poking attack. Terrible. That's okay. Is the golem tablet good as a weapon? Eh, I don't like it. I'm not gonna lie. It should have had a unique light attack combo. The only thing that it gets unique is a heavy attack, which it's a good heavy attack. Um, but like, it could have had like a poking attack move. So if I had like a unique light attack combo, I'd probably like it more. Claws weapons are um, very mediocre. Do you like feet? I cannot say that I'm a feet fan. I know, how can I play the FromSoft games and not be a fan of feet? How could this happen? Fake FromSoft fan. I did not like Godwin at all. Don't know why. Don't like Rani also. Based. 
I hate all the NPCs. Your feet tail list was amazing? We didn't talk about that. Are you into fingers then? I cannot believe I'm so bad at this video game. It's such a simple jump. Not liking feet is an advantage. You don't get overexcited before the big fights. <laughs> I like the grass and blood vial percentage healing. I don't think grass was percentile healing, was it? I mean, like, percentage healing makes sense when you can't upgrade your... your healing item. I just don't like, um... finite healing. Oh my god, okay, we're gonna go around. We clearly can't do it anymore. I suck. I clearly can't make a simple jump. This is not... <laughs> great hammers and great axes are so much faster and lighter, but still get good damage and poise break. Yeah. And the funny thing is you can get more poise break with a great hammer instead. There's like hardly any reason to use a colossal weapon outside of the fact that they like look cool, I guess. Grass was percentile? Oh, really? Morgoth's Great Rune, awesome for Prayerful Strike 2. Yeah, we might get that. We might get Morgoth's. This is a sign for the pickaxe. We'll go, we'll go use a pickaxe after... Once we get to Landell, we'll switch to the pickaxe. How about that? The jump looks tough. It's not like the easiest jump in the world. But the range of the Golem tab would be really nice to have. Especially against like, maybe the Godskin duo fight. It would be good, I'm not gonna lie. But on the pickaxe, it would make sense because the piercing damage and trading out and spear talisman, it might just result in higher damage. I mean, the Rastadenka could just do it better. But the little bit of extra range, I guess, is nice. Healing, si wait, the healing is bad, so you use the rally system? Yeah. I mean, I don't mind, like, the blood vials and stuff. I just don't like finite healing. I mean, it's fine in, like, nowadays because, you know... I just use, like, the cum dungeon to just, like, get blood vials. But if the cum dungeon didn't exist, I wouldn't like doing... playing Bloodborne at all. Because, like, farming for blood vials is, like, mega cringe. Absolutely terrible. It would make, like, every challenge run just, like, awful. I could have gone through Godric's throne room. That is actually true. Am I stupid? I killed Godric. <laughs> I'm so dumb. Why do you just now say that? <laughs> I'm an idiot. Most intelligent Yui moment. Honestly. Healing tier, the Dew Talisman. And do I go into like a health regen type of build or? Wouldn't there's all those amazing two jumps, yeah. The Icon Shield, yeah. Ah, we're not gonna bother getting that shield. We might get the Blessed Dew Talisman. And I might get the health regen talisman too, we'll see. Did you hear that the Bloodborne PC release is coming out this month? Yeah, I heard about it. In my dreams. I'm a...
Maybe a bit of faith for the reduction in Kents. Nah, because only his flame gummy strength for damage. Ah, uh, Peeper has got a man. Isn't Great Star just the best weapon to put this Ashivar on? No. Not really. I mean, we did a poll and then people decided to vote on the Golem's Halberd because they want to see something interesting. But like, Great Star's, it's cool. Because like, it does also add the health regen, but it's like, it's like 1% per hit. So it's like, it's basically useless with this Ashivar. Like, if you put it on like an Ashivar that swings faster, like Stormcaller, it would probably make a bit more sense, but um... I'm probably not going to benefit much of that extra healing. Nor the um... What do you call it? The bleed as well, because I'm probably not going to be able to proc bleed. I mean, maybe I could. Pro proc bleed like one time in a fight. Which I guess is useful. I think that, yeah, I think the pickaxe or the rusted anchor would be the best pairing. Although, like, I wouldn't, I would like to have more range, though, because those ranges aren't the best. Both ritual talismans for big bonk and big tank. That's actually a good idea to go with both. It's actually a good idea. Ah, uh, check on what's going on, man. How's the run so far? The run is going well. I didn't need to go to EG, do I? I don't. We don't need to go to EG. What language do I speak? Does it not sound like English? What? You might get the Karen Philly good crest. I gotta do Homeboy's quest line. Um, also the blue dancer's talisman it reminds me of him. Who's this? Or oh, the blind swordsman. Delayed chat? Is the chat delayed? It's not that delayed, is it? I don't think it's that delayed. About halfway through this Wing of Astel run, it's like playing a different game. You just lay down a cloud and walk away. It's very broken. I don't know these people you're speaking of, Solaire. Not gonna lie. Um, we'll go to the Altus Plateau. Go get some stuff, like golden seeds, and... Oh, actually no, first things first, we're gonna go to the dungeon to get some more smithing tools. I could just like, grab some smithing tools, but... We'll go kill the Crystallian. Probably the better play. It's another boss that we can kill, why not? It would be nice on the Giant's Crusher. The reason why I didn't go with the Giant's Crusher is because it's really heavy and it has very high requirements. I wouldn't be able to use it early game. But I could honestly probably get more damage out of the, um, the Pickaxe and the Rusted Anchor if I went with, like, the Spear Talisman and trade it out. I would get, like, more damage. What's the boss you like to fight the most here? What do you mean like here? Like is in like Leonia? Like my favorite boss in Leonia? That's a good question. I hate all of them. I don't like none of the bosses in this place. Um, why are you doing a run for an Ashwa that's actually good? It's because it's one of the... <laughs> We're planning on doing a playthrough with every single Ash of War, okay? Because <laughs> I'm going to rank all the Ashes of War. We actually could, might rank them after this after this run. Because I have a ranking and it's not like completed yet. So why don't we just rank them after this? Um, There's like a few Ashes of War I've yet to play with that I still want to play with. I know I want to do Spinning Strikes. Because I haven't done that. Um, I still have to do, like, Stamp as well. The Stamp Sweep and Upward Cut. I haven't done a playthrough with those. Um, I have done Spinning Chain, yeah. That's not going to be part of the Ash of War, though. 
Because spinning chain is not an Ash of War, so it's not gonna be... <laughs> it's a unique skill. Because you can't infuse it into anything. So it's not gonna be part of the Ash of War ranking. I'll put it in the unique skills ranking. Doing all Remembrance? We'll do like all great rune bosses and like as many Remembrance bosses as we, as we can. I kinda just always skip like the Regal Ancestor Spirit because... And Fortisax, because those ones are just like out of the way. And not that fun to fight, honestly. And by the time that I want to fight them, it's like, I'm always like, overpowered anyway. So it wouldn't even be much of a challenge. But I tend to do all the other bosses because it doesn't require like, annoying stuff to do. Go away! <laughs> oh my god, I got hit by every projectile, like, jeez. I didn't even, like, dodge a single one. Like, god damn. Like, careful, I almost dodged it. Unbelievable. Spinning Strikes is awesome on Knight Rider's Glaive. Yeah, I might put it on the Knight Rider's Glaive. Put it on something. I could probably put it on like a bleed weapon too. That could be interesting. Um, recommend a good dex build. Um, I watch your YouTube pretty much daily. Oh, nice. Thank you. Fire Ruby. Appreciate it. I'm um, a good dexterity build. Um, well, the best dexterity weapons would be like the Bloodhound's Fang, Guardian Sword Spear, Bolt of Grand Sax, the Nagakiba. You can go with Cross Naginata. Bandit's Curve Sword. Um, trying to think of something that's fun as well. Hmm. Am I late? Not necessarily, no. I only killed like a couple bosses. Sun recommend like a good, fun dexterity build. Wait, I don't need to go up that way. Um, what was my build of my first playthrough? Well, obviously I went to the game blind, and then I ended up going with... a holy based build. And I'll power sense some sacred infused curve swords. I think I had like a scimitar and something else. And then I ended up switching to the McKillan Night Sword and the Golden Epitaph, and I power sense those two terrible weapons. So that was pretty cool. Because like, I was pretty hellbent on using Holy Damage, because obviously, Holy Damage hadn't been in any other Souls game. It's like, I want to use Holy Damage. So that was cool. Rip Bozo. Get him out of here. I didn't pick up my souls along the way after I died. That's fine. That's okay. I'm gonna need souls, because it's so expensive to like level up these heavy ass weapons. What are good dex weapons in Dark Souls 3 other than the Cell Sword Twin Blades? Almost every weapon in the entire game is dexterity based because it's just always better with a sharp infusion. Even like the Lothric Knight's Great Sword. Um, but yeah, Lothric Knight Straight Sword is pretty good. That one's nice. Almost every Straight Sword is good, so... <laughs> Any one of those will do perfectly fine. If you want something that's fun, um, Follow a Saber is pretty fun. It's like a solid Curve Sword. That one's pretty cool. Holly will be good on the DLC? Probably not. Shamsher. Shamsher is a pretty fun. Pretty fun dexterity weapon. You could do that. Go with a Shamsher build. And probably use like a bow and something like that. If you want to use a bow. Ermi Lightning Rem. Actually, I had that in my top five most fun builds. True. Yeah, Ermi with Lightning Ram. That's a good fucking build.
How is Radagon Elden Beast with a Holy build? Challenging. Challenging, but I did it. I did it, though. It took a while. Still not as long as, like, Millennia, but... I wouldn't say Shamshir is a dex weapon. Could easily be a strength weapon. I think when people say, like, dexterity weapon, I think they typically mean, like, quicker stuff, you know? There better be blurps, there is no blurps. I forgot to, like, unmute them. And honestly, I'm fine. My life has been better since they've been muted. Ah, uh, Oni, what's going on? How are things? Zwei can make a competent dexterity weapon too, yeah. Zwei Hander is pretty good. What is the goal of this run? To beat the game? with the Prayerful Strike and try and learn as much as we can about it. That is in fact the the idea for the run. That's why we do these runs. DLC will add dark damage back. I don't I don't know. The, I think the th reason why they wouldn't add a different damage type is because you gotta go ahead and then add um, damage resistances to like every single other boss in the game. And you gotta add it to every single armor set, and also add it to like the damage negation, guarding damage negation for every single weapon and shield. It seems like a lot of effort if you're adding a new damage type, you know? Because typically when they have something for the DLC, they don't really change up the base game. And I think adding a different damage type would change up the base game by a lot. Is that the final weapon for the run? No, we're gonna go switch to the pickaxe after we go kill a few bosses. You think we'll get a Chaos Blade? I think so. This thing um, consumes a lot of stamina. But it does a lot of damage. What is AOW? It's Ash of War. It's the acronym. Anyway, what's going on, Jetty? How how things? Um, I do want to start my Dragon's Dogma playthrough soon, though. When's the when's Dragon's Dogma two come out? Is like the twenty something? I forget. What song do I hum? I don't hum any song. Sometimes I just like randomly hum. It'll just be like random. Friday? Well like Friday is in like in two days? Or three days? Do you think they'll release more than one DLC? No. I do not think so. The 22nd. Okay, cool. Thank you. <laughs> what class do you think of rocking in, drag in Dragon's Dogma 1? I know nothing about the game. I don't know. I haven't done any research on anything. So, it will be completely blind. I don't need to go that way. Will Elden Ring 2 happen? I don't think so. Actually... Why am I running all the way over here? Um, out of all the games that's most likely to get a sequel, I think this one would be the one that's most likely. It wouldn't be my first pick for a sequel. I honestly wouldn't want any sequel, I'm not gonna lie. But, out of all the ones, this would probably be the one. But it won't be for like 5 to 10 years from now. Probably 10 years, honestly. I still think we're gonna get a bunch of just different games up until they end up deciding to make a sequel for something. Main preferred playstyle overall. I've done like so many playthroughs and had so many fun, so much fun with different things that I don't really have a preferred playstyle. I have like things that I like. I mean, my my playstyle is just being aggressive. So things that incentivize being aggressive, it's pretty fun, I guess. 
I like things that stance break as well. That's fun. <laughs> fun stuff. Or does like goofy shit? I don't know. It depends. One thing that I'm excited for is like the the kicking weapon. The bone fist. I typically like that stuff. Um, would you like it if they made another DLC two and a half years after Shadow of the Earth Tree? I don't think that would serve as much as a benefit. It might be a bit potentially dated. So I don't know. I think they're better off spending their time just making a brand new game. If you have like ideas... I don't know, I think they should just have all their best ideas for this DLC and just put it to rest and just move on to the next game. That's my thing. The Lady Tamori DLC and Bloodborne 2 in 2025, yeah. A secular DLC is not happening. I mean, like, I probably... I don't know. It wouldn't surprise me that much if there was going to be a second DLC. Because, like, this is, like, the grandest game thus far. And it's their best-selling... Um, by a long shot, it's their best-selling game. Let's go get the smithing fires, why not? So they decided to make this like a 10 year project or some shit like that. I would understand, but I don't really think it's the FromSoft formula though. Rather get a blood monster. Um, I'd rather like, out of all the games that I want to say a sequel to, it'd probably be Sekiro. Because it's the one that didn't get a DLC, and I feel like they could go a bit harder with um build creation and stuff in Sekiro. With like Bloodborne, like, I don't know, what can you really do with a sequel? It'd just be like, I don't know. I don't feel like you could really enhance much or like add much onto like what you already have in the game. You know what I'm saying? Make it like Destiny where they delete the previous DLCs. I don't think that's going to be a thing. <laughs> like Destiny is a live service game. Where like there's like a new there's new content like every like three months, you know? This is not a live service game. They wanna make different games. Okay, come this way. Break this thing for me, please. I want a full remake. Yeah, Bloodborne just needs a remaster. It's the only thing that it needs. From start the game, but you play as an Eldritch monster. Sekiro, but you pair with a spear instead. <laughs> I mean, Sekiro with a spear sounds cool, but if yeah, but like that's the only game that I'd want with a sequel because they could go a bit harder in terms of like this build creation. They could have like just different weapons and stuff. A PC port? I don't think that's ever gonna happen. I don't think Bloodborne is gonna get a PC port, but I would like that a lot. Honestly, that's all that it needs. Just a remaster and add it to the PC. But I feel like because the FromSoft fans and Bloodborne fans in particular are kind of this, a crazy bunch. Um, they're going to try their best to like milk the shit out of it. They're going to like have a way to where they can make it a $70 game. <clears throat> Sony is not stupid. They're not going to just release it just a remaster or just port it to the PC. They're going to be like, nah. <laughs> they know what they have with Bloodborne. They know what they have. What am I doing? We're killing this guy. Liza P kind of gave me my secondary fix. Liza P is a fantastic game. Good game. Don't need to kill this guy, but I would like his souls, because... Buying smithing materials is pretty expensive. Let's get my stamina back. Oh, we can tank that attack. Hell yeah. Another stance break. You love to see it. There's only a plus four and I'm fighting a Altus Plateau enemy. 
Pretty good stuff. Then 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 Oh, come on. Wait, am I fat rolling? I'm fat rolling. I'm going for it, boys. Can we stop? Oh my god, what is he? He's literally one shot. What's wrong with you? Jeez. Why is he like this? Why is he wearing a diaper? He's an old man, leave him alone. Everything's fine. <laughs> Same deal as a Demon's Souls remake. PS6. I mean, PS6 is probably a long way away. I don't think they're gonna keep up like the same time frame that they've been doing with like their console releases because like the PS5 is pretty good as a console. Like the PS4 needed an upgrade because like the loading times are like really bad and obviously you had 30 FPS. But, like now days the PS5 has like instant load screens and you can like go up to 120 FPS and 4K. Like I don't think it really needs an upgrade anytime soon. It's pretty good. So I think they will probably do a Bloodborne remake, but it's probably going to be on the PS5. I mean, if they could honestly just do like a remaster and then just make a remake later on, honestly. <laughs> I still feel like we're going to get something for Bloodborne next year. 10 year anniversary and there's going to be like a downtime in FromSoft period. There's not going to be like a FromSoft game coming out next year, I don't think. So I think next year is the time for like a Bloodborne remaster. Anyway, what am I doing? I'm leveling this up. That is correct. Strengthen. Oh, I need to buy more smithing twos. True. Bloodborne live service fashion sets. What? They come out of the PS6 right after I got my PS5, someone is gonna get hurt. I don't think it's gonna happen. I think like one COVID would have like slowed down a lot of what they're probably going to do in terms of like their next console. And obviously with how many or how like long it took for like them to actually be on the shelves and stay on the shelves. It's so expensive, man. Holy shit. Leveling up larger weapons is actually disgusting. Actually disgusting. I'm not a fan. Okay, I need a lighter armor set. This is getting too heavy. Good enough. Um, okay. Now what? Do we go through Rayo Lucaria? I think so. We have a decently leveled Golem's Habit. I can actually go buff this. Should I like throw a buff on there? I don't know. What does Hugh need the runes for anyway? That's what I'm saying. Why does he charge us? Maybe he needs like the runes just for like, because then again, if we upgraded ourselves, maybe it's runes necessary just to upgrade the thing. He probably doesn't like charge it as a service, I don't think. Didn't I say the PS5 is at the end of its life cycle? I don't think so. It's probably just like a rumor. It's probably like the second half of its life cycle. I don't know about the end of its life cycle. Because like it did come out like when? Four years ago? It'll probably be like another four to five years before we even get an announcement for a PS6. Three years old? I mean, yeah. Three and a half years old. So probably not even halfway. Probably not even halfway. Because like typically it takes like seven years. They said latter stage. Who said that though? Who? Who said that?
Is it a trusted source? Just some like random like Sony employee. <laughs> yeah, we don't even have a PS5 Pro yet. It can't be the later stage. I saw it on IGN. It's probably just some like random employee saying some bullshit and then IGN's like, well this is gonna get a lot of money if we just like make an article about this. It's they, they said, true. It was them, they, they did it. We must trust. Whoever they is. Okay, I need to get something different. I need another crystal tier. Okay, what's like, I need a list of crystal tiers. What should I go with? I don't know how to type. That's fine. Um... This one might be nice, temporarily boosting Matt's HP. It's not the warm face though. Maybe the health regen one. Stamina boosting one would be nice, but I'm probably gonna go into endurance level anyway. I wanna level up a bit more endurance. Maybe after these next two bosses. Um The Leaden Harden tier in temporarily improves poise. Ew, Mount Gelmir, no. We don't need poise anywhere. It doesn't matter. We might go get the health regen one. That's gonna be the strategy. We'll go get the health regen tier. In a recent report by Bloomberg, Naomi Matsuoka, a senior vice president at the Japanese gaming giant is quoted as saying the PS5 is entering the later latter stage of its life cycle. Um, I don't believe that. I do not believe that. Like how many PS5s has there even been? Like exclusives, like PS5 exclusive games. That hasn't just been on the PS4. Like, what do they even benefit? Unless, like, it's just... I don't know. Yeah, latter doesn't mean end of. It just means second half of the cycle. Which I probably agree in terms of, like, developing it and, like, updating the game is probably, like, in the second half of, like, it receiving updates. Um, maybe it just means, like, the, the original PS5 in itself, and it probably doesn't include, like, the PS5 Pro. That's probably what it means as well. You know, like... Yeah. Could be interpreted a bunch of different ways. Anywho. Let's go kill Doug. Exclusives are a lot weaker than the PS4 exclusives too. Yeah, it's because like, one, like Naughty Dog hasn't like re released much, you know? like. <laughs> That's one big thing. And you've only gotten like, you know, this, the one God of War game and like Spider-Man and like, that's about it. And like Ratchet and Clank. There hasn't been much. Did I see Gino's weapon tier list? No. Do you like the Last of Us games? I do. They're good movies. I don't like them as video games. I don't like survival based combat or survival mechanics at all. I'm skipping lectures to watch you stream. That does not sound... ...something that you should be doing, I'm not gonna lie. I forgot to go put on the health regen too. I'm silly. Most of the cycles has been a bunch of people struggling to get a PS5, yeah. I was thankful enough to get like, a PS5 day one. I actually got two PS5s day one. Pretty cool. Bye, Dougie. Didn't Naughty Dog make Last of Us? Yeah, they did, but like when there hasn't been like a PS5 one though. Wasn't Last of Us Part 2 released on the PS4? And then it's like remade it for the PS5? Or was it always... 
I'm pretty sure it was beforehand, right? I think it came out before the PS5. So that hasn't even been like a PS5 game. Endurance. Why do people keep making playable movies instead of games? Because it sells and they're still fun. It's an interactable movie. You can't really interact with movies, you know? But now we can. I still think they're really cool. They're entertaining enough. Just ate four tacos. Nice. Why don't they make a PS6 until the PS5 becomes outdated? Yeah. The PS5 is still feels very good. Still feels very good. Like, look at some of, like, the PS exclusives and how they run. Like, instant loading times and just, they just run so smoothly. Like, there's, that it doesn't feel dated. Like, when the PS5, up when the PS4 first dropped, it already felt dated because, like, the loading screens were so bad. Especially for Bloodborne. <laughs> Okay, thanks lot. Yeah, that was great. 10 out of 10. Game just straight up just fucking lagged as I was about to roll. Nice. Heal. Oh, I have three FP flasks. Why didn't I just get more? I do this to myself every time. Go away. I like my, st yeah, my stick is a nice stick. It is a nice stick. I'm gonna have to put on the Starlight Shards. I mean, I, I think I could still use it without requirements. I think it still does damage. But it's not gonna just do, like, health regen, obviously. I want tacos now. They're just as entertaining in a YouTube playlist. I disagree. I'd rather play the interactable movie, I'm not gonna lie. I still think it's very enjoyable. I mean, some games, like, like, Uncharted is actually, like, really fun. <laughs> and I'll say so is God of War. Last of Us, not so much. Although I like the story in Last of Us better than those two games, so... I don't think no video game has as good a story as Last of Us. Ew! We're good. I swear, one of these days, I'm actually gonna learn and actually put on the stupid crystal, too. I need to stop, like, just walking into a boss room and not actually thinking beforehand. I never think. Bloodborne story is better than Last of Us? What the fuck is Bloodborne story, like, what's the plot of Bloodborne? <laughs> no, 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 come on. Come on. <laughs> the hunt. Yeah, like this FromSoft games don't really have much of a story. It's more about like the lore, right? I'm just gonna use it like this. I don't care. We're gonna we're gonna waste FP today. That's fine. I need the hyper ammo. Oh, I don't care. Stupid books. All the time. Every time. There's any story and law. I mean, like, laws are still stories, but, like, when you talk about the story of a game, you're talking about, like, the plot. You know what I'm saying? Like, the main story. Like, the FromSoft games are, like, a bunch of stories in, like, one big world. Like, one's an actual story game, and one isn't. Hit her. Oh my god, I went with the golem's halberd to have some more reach. This works, that's fine. Tank that attack? Why would I be able to tank that attack? That would be too convenient. What's the easiest Ash of War run so far? Um, good question. 
I forget. That's the most ridiculous thing I've ever experienced in my entire life. What even was any of that? Is the dragon still there? They're gonna have a dragon and a bloodhound knight. That's fine. Why is the dragon still there? Well, she's dead. That's fine. I keep forgetting... Okay. Gonna get the gold scarab talisman after this. Um... Easiest Ash of War run. I mean, I've kind of been avoiding, like, the easiest Ashes of War, but, like, typically anything that has a projectile attack and does some nice damage is pretty easy. Uh, uh, why did Radagon leave Renala? Um, she's a bit too tall for him, I guess. Too big. Okay. That's enough endurance. We don't need any more endurance for the rest of the run. Some nice drip. Immaculate drip. Okay, let's go grab another talisman pouch, and let's go get the carrying filigreed crest. Um, like, Gale probably has some of, the, like, some neat lore, but I did not give a damn. Because I didn't know him prior. That is true. Like, there are only, like, games that actually have, like, a very coherent story. Probably be secular, right? Because, like, it kind of pieces it together. With, like, very, like, distinct dialogue and cutscenes. Cutscenes help tell a story... ...very well. That is due. Do I lift? Does it look like I lift? I don't. Vogue's Ash of War? I mean, that's- I, I don't really count that as an Ash of War. That's like a- that's a unique skill, right? I mean, technically, the like, Ashes of War are the items, and the skills are what give you the things, so... I kind of separate the two, but if you're talking about unique skills, then the yeah, Moog Sacred- the yeah, Moog Spear is probably... Probably the easiest one. We did that one yesterday. Am I the only one who cried at the end of Dark Souls 3? Yes. Most brain dead Ash of War? It's based. What do you mean? Stop being a hater. It's literally the greatest Ash of War of all time. Pickaxe time? No, we'll go kill Radan first. Actually, should I go to the pickaxe? What do you guys think? I just watched Vardy videos, lore videos about Bloodborne to learn the story. That's about it. Tis about it. Because I actually put on the Crimson Burst Crystal too. Um, let's go grab the Carrion Filigreed Crest. Story isn't a point of the Souls games, and the lack of story gives them better replayability instead of just being, oh look, there's the same part of the story I don't like. That's a good point on terms of replayability. I agree. Because every single time I play a story-based game, I just play it once and that's it. And even if, I mean, typically I just play games once anyway. I don't really like ever replay games, unless it comes to these ones. No, I don't care about you. I want to talk about the Howling and Mistwood. How many hours do you have in these games? Too many. Too many. Thousands. Thousands. I'm curious if Ice Spear or this with High Vigor would be easier. I think Ice Spear typically is going to be easier because that's going to do a status effect, probably do more damage, and serve as a projectile attack. I had such a cool looking skybox and then I went away. <clears throat> um, lore always comes second to gameplay. I agree. And I wish the entire community agreed with that. 
but the entire community doesn't because we tend to like, you know, excuse poor gameplay decisions and poor balancing things when it comes to law. Like when I first started complaining about holy damage, I was like one of the first people to actually make a video talking about how bad holy damage is. And I remember in that video, people just like talking about, well, like there's a very specific law reason as to why that is. No. Don't care, you can change up the law to make the gameplay better. I don't think the law always comes first and then the gameplay follows afterwards. There's probably certain circumstances in which the gameplay comes in. And then they make lore around it. Mm -mm. And there's certain circumstances of which, like, they just don't explain anything. Like, with, like, bonfires and Dark Souls. Like, there's no lore reason behind, like, 90% of the bonfires in that game. It's just there for gameplay. You can explain the lore behind the bonfires that have fire keepers there. But the rest of the bonfires... Ain't no lore reason for that. It didn't one-shot Bad Ash of War. As if you didn't tank that attack. You're actually pathetic. Okay, can you die now? Finally! Even the Death Blight Worm faces are 40% holy resist when they shouldn't be weaker to it. All Death Blight enemies are resist to holy damage. I don't know why they made it like that, but Death Blight enemies are resist to holy damage. For whatever reason. Death Blight is holy though, because the Eclipse Shuttle is holy. That makes sense. But it's weird because, like, the Revenants are weaker to healing spells, but they're resistant to holy damage. And same thing as Fortisax, right? Fortisax does some Death Lightning attacks. He's literally right next to Godwin's corpse, and he's 80% resist to holy, which is just as high as Radabeast and Malekith. And yeah, the Worm Faces are resist to holy damage. Yeah, all Death Blight enemies are resist to holy. Which sucks. I mean, they could have made it so, like, holy damage is still weak against it. You can, like, twist some shit, but they're always like, Oh, this thing does holy damage. Therefore, it has to be resist against it. And it's not even like that. It's basically, like, every single great rune boss. Like, every boss that has a great rune, kind of, is just going to be resist to holy damage. It's like, why would they do that? <laughs> why would they do that? Like, if holy damage, like, in the lore is, like, this, the most strongest thing. And, like, all the great runes kind of have the powers of holy damage or some shit. Why is it so trash? I have not played Little Nightmares. No. I didn't want to do that. <laughs> the Great Mace works really well, yeah. Lots of weapons work really well. We decided to go with the Golem Tower because... People decided on that one, because it was fun. It's a big stick that gets a lot of range. I didn't want to fucking buy that. Oh my god. You stupid idiot. That's what I get for spamming X. Is this Ash only? Yes, this is in fact Ash only. I think it's time to search for the pickaxe. Should I use like buffs and stuff? Like I would like to buy a bunch of like resin or like grease, but you can't buy grease anywhere. You have to craft it, which is like so stupid. It's actually dumb. We're gonna use cheat engine for the pickaxe, I don't care. What's, what, what level is that? 13. 
every single time I'm in Leonia of the Lakes, it's just the worst experience. It's just so fucking buggy. Oh my god. It makes my PC lag so much. Pickaxe. Do you know what I just realized? My weapon's been standard and infused the entire time. I haven't even, like, put it... I'm so stupid. I haven't even made it heavy infused. Farming for string for quick greases. It's so silly. Like, it sucks because, like, in the other games, you could literally just buy them. Like, all the stuff that you get in the crafting system, you could have just bought with souls in the previous games. But they're like, oh no, it's an open world game, so therefore we have to have a crafting mechanic. No, you don't. <laughs> you don't have to have a crafting mechanic. Anyway, let's go grab the Spear Talisman. But there's seriously not a single NPC that sells grease. Ugh. Wait, how much is, um, freezing mist? Or frozen armaments, I mean. The spell. Because I could potentially, like, try and proc frost with something. That could be kind of cool. Is it 15? It's probably 15 intelligence, right? Hmm. Should not have done the whole crafting thing? I think the crafting thing would have been fine. If, like... You unlocked it by, like, getting the crafting materials, and after you unlock it, you could, like, infinitely buy it with souls. Because I like the idea of, like, having, like, a portable merchant. Right? I think that's pretty cool. But, like, two things they failed in miserably is not being able to, like, purchase it with souls. And another thing is that we can't use it in combat. Like, what's the purpose of having a portable merchant if we can't even use it in combat? Like, it's just... <laughs> really? Very silly. Speaking of leaf, Arteria leaf. Shouldn't make no sense. Actually, no, the real worst thing about it, oh, actually, one of the many things that are bad about it, but the cookbooks. There's so many cookbooks for no reason. Do you know what they should have done instead? Is that as soon as you pick up a map for that section, it unlocks everything in that area. That's what they should have done instead. That's what they should have done. And not like have like a thousand cookbooks. Scattered around a bunch of different locations. Like if you miss one cookbook in some random location, you're just gonna miss out. On a bunch of like really good stuff that you could potentially craft. So yeah. Those are my thoughts on the crafting system. I've already made, like, plenty of videos talking about it. It's, like, one of the first videos that I complained about the game with, so... <laughs> anyway. Um, heavy pickaxe. We have that. Okay, wait, how many smithing fives do I have? Four. This is a plus fifteen. I can go get it to plus 14 right now. Nice. I didn't craft a single item my first playthrough. I've never crafted a single item, like, literally ever until I do, like, certain types of challenge runs. Like, when I was doing speed runs, it was, like, important to go craft the bleed grease. Um, of course, I need more souls. True. I probably need more than that. And when I was doing a, a consumables only run. The consumable run? That was like the only other time. Silly. Very silly. Anyway, frozen armament. Frozen armament. Armament. I never know how to say that word. Armament. I always like speak way too fast. Chat, do I speak too fast? Armament. 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 I'm um, dropped in a scarab. After defeating Loretta. Fascinating. I think I know what that is. Let's go kill Radon.
It's because you're Australian. There's plenty of Australians that speak slowly. Actually, I think most Australians speak pretty slowly. <laughs> Why the pickaxe specifically? Because piercing damage plus large range plus it looks cool. I was gonna go the rusted anchor, but I think you actually get more stance damage with the weapon skill. It probably scales. I haven't tested it out in terms of like the stance damage and how it scales. If it's like a flat amount. Um. Wait, does it get? It looks like it gets just as much range as the rusted anchor. Have you played the Surge? I haven't played the Surge, no. Um, let's go put this on. Use this one. Put that on. Switch to this one. Use this. Okay, go. Oh my god, what a fantastic attack. I'm so good at this game. Can you do your thingy? That was some big boy counter damage right there. Can I get a poise break? That'd be really nice. I'm not gonna lie. Nice poise break for me. Unfortunate. Ah, uh, meet me. What's going on, man? Da -ba -da 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 -ba -da -da. Gold scarab time? Oh, forget about the gold scarab. I do this to myself all the time. I'm a silly goose. Oh, why do you have to do that for? Hurry up! Come on! Oh my god, what is wrong with you? Thank you! Um, does the Ash Ward deal bow? Um, no, it does not deal holy damage. Does not deal holy damage. It's just AR. Based off your AR, and it just heals you. I just got one shot by Mikalash. Skill issue. <laughs> as soon as I dropped it down. Call that he's just the worst boss. I hate him so much. That poor horse. Unlucky. Um strength. Yeah, strength. Yeah, why not? Why not? B scaling and strength, that's not too bad. Ugh. The fact that he has no feet just makes the fight laughable to me. <laughs> that definitely was not a Michael Zaki decision. He would have liked to put feet on him. Um, just what we're done in the Reforged mod, the health and the aggression are night and day compared to vanilla. Yeah, I'm not a fan of the Reforged mod, I'm not gonna lie. It has made the game, like, too, just, too annoying. A bit more obnoxious. Favorite Bloodborne weapon? The Beast Claw. I mentioned it in my top 10 Bloodborne video. Beast Claws. I love them fucking things, they're great. He just did it again. <laughs> I hate the redone nerf, I wish they buffed him again. I gotta go back to like patch 1.0, I gotta like down, down patch and see what like the difference actually was. Cause like, I fought him day one. Like the OG patch. But like, and it was obviously like really hard. But I wanna see what it compares to like now, like a side by side comparison. Now that I fought him a whole bunch of times.
I would like to know. You can't stack Blood Flame Blade with Prayer Strike? You can. You can. You can still buff the weapon perfectly fine. So that's why I'm like just deciding like what weapon buff I should use. I was thinking of just using like freezing a frozen element. Gotta go into like 15 intelligence though for that. And I have to go kill Loretta. It's like that frozen armor doesn't even like just boost like a little bit of magic damage. Like even if it was like 30 AR or something like that. Would be nice. Black Ray does get staggered with every hit. I can appreciate that. Get up! Heal! No, don't do that. <sighs> Stay still. It does do a decent amount of stance damage. I'm not sure if it does just as much as if I use the Rusted Enko. I still don't have the gold scarab. <laughs> okay, we're gonna get the gold scarab now. Millennia needs a buff. How would this work with Black Flame Blade? It would work. I could use Black Flame Blade too, that is true. But it would just be like so much effort. It only lasting 7 seconds is kind of cringe. Um, 13 intelligence. Do I bother going with Freezen? It looked like Ice Poseidon? I've heard. I have heard. Okay, let's go get the Gold Scarab before, like, anything else happens. A Lifesteal buff for the DLC. How long does the Old Lost Talisman extend it? I think Old Lost Talisman adds, like, 50%. Longer duration. Ah, uh, Lepa, thank you for the follow. So, I think it was from like 7 seconds to like 11 seconds or some shit. Maybe. No harm in trying, except for wasting my time. And wasting my points. Put 5 points into intelligence. Oh god. It does look like ice. It's my son. I might have been your co-worker then. What? According to the lore, the horse is actually Radan's father. His father was transformed into a horse. By Renala for heresy. What the fuck are you on about, bro? <laughs> What's, what lore books were you reading? Intelligence? Yes. Intelligence for frozen armament. That's some W lore. Oh, come on. Why does this happen to me every single time that I have like a bunch of souls on hand? This happens all the time. I can't make a simple jump. I'm so stupid. Okay, my souls are still here, it's fine. Oh, for fucks! Come on. Ah, oh, I thought I could like land on that little ledge. Looks like we're fighting this boss. I think this is health regen here. Let's fight this boss while Prox with Scarlet Rod, I guess. I'm such a, like, a doo-doo dum-dum. Yeah, just heal right in front of the rat. That was a good idea. God, I'm so intelligent. How do I do it? A 
I thought Radagon was Radan's dad. Yeah, I think that's the case as well. I don't think Radan's father is a horse. Although, that does sound pretty cool. Stay still. Easy. Why did it do it back to back? I think the thing deflected off something and it let me cast it back to back. That was kind of cool. That was nice. Imagine if it always worked like that. It like deflected off this and like it bounced back and I could just do it straight away. That was pretty cool. Okay, what boss am I fighting now? So I gotta kill Loretta so I can go get frozen armament. They're like chicken wings. Yes, the horse is actually Radan's wife. She wasn't previously a human or anything. He just likes the horse Ussi. Maybe. Did you hit the buckler? Probably. That, that was probably it, yeah. Your reward for exploring everything in Elden Ring is finding the shittiest dungeons imaginable. <laughs> Kinda. The dungeons be kinda ass sometimes. I mean, the good thing is a lot of the dungeons have a bunch of trash anyway, so you can just ignore them for the most part. What do Australians eat usually? Donkey dick. Just donkey penis, that's all we eat. Um, yeah, I mean, like, some dungeons can be kind of cool. This is, like, this is too many, in my opinion. <laughs> that is felt the need to, like, fill it up with stuff. You get spirits in the dungeons. That is true. A lot of the dungeons tend to have spirit summons. Um... That's the reason why I tend to, like, not go inside of them. But then some dungeons have some, like, pretty useful shit. Like, you know, a lightning scorpion charm. Which is, like, very important to get. <laughs> for some playthroughs. And some pretty cool weapons. Yeah, the mines are good because that's where the bell bearings are at. And lots of materials. Kangaroos? I've never eaten a kangaroo. Probably just tastes like chicken, honestly. Shrimp from a barbie? I don't think so. What the fuck is a shrimp anyway? Is that like it's a prawn or some shit? I don't know. Probably just a prawn. The giant conquering grave is like the only guy that doesn't feel empty. That one sucks too. I never met someone with a taste for prawn I couldn't trust. The shrimp is the ocean roach. Interesting. Yeah, why did Aust why did we Australians get fucking that shit as like a a stereotype. Why the fuck do we eat shrimps? I think we eat like every other type of like... Seafood. Other than shrimp, honestly. Anyway. I'm serious, guy. It's a Bobad's line. I don't know what that is. Is that a show or something?
I think we put a lot of other things in the barbie other than a shrimp. Okay, now where the fuck is this stupid scarab? I know there's a scarab like over here. Does this one have freezing mist? Or like frozen armament, whatever it's called. Now that one's chilling mist. Where is this stupid thing? God damn it. In an area behind the manor. Oh, I know where it is. I'm gonna say that I know where it is. I'm gonna go to the location of which I think I know where it is, and it's not gonna be there. But I'm pretty sure it's to the side over here. Brazil is just Australia, but the people are good looking. <laughs> Sold by Salubus? What? It's not here? The wiki just said it was in a scarab. And I'm pretty sure there's a scarab along this road. This fucking thing. That's the one. That's the one. Okay, that's nice. That's cool. I did all that work to go get the freezing armament just so I can fight Goldfree, who's immune to frost. Nice. That's okay. We're not gonna get Black Flame Blade, it's fine. I gotta go... Ugh. I gotta go pick up a staff. The reason for the pickaxe? Because piercing damage, that's why. I mean, we were using the Golem's Halberd for like the first part of the playthrough. Like the first five bosses, we used the Golem's Halberd. Now we're gonna use a pickaxe. We might switch later on, we'll see. We might switch back to the Golem's Harbor, who knows. We use Magic Grease for this boss. We have like five, so might as well. I'm excited for new drip in the DLC. It's bound to have some good stuff. I find prawns a little off-putting in appearance. Versus a shrimp. It's because of my upbringing. They do be looking kind of freaky, but they do taste nice. Uh, uh, I think great stars would be good. Yeah, we've already went over that. It's been used a thousand. It's, right, I've used like great stars for every playthrough. Uh, either way, like the extra bit of healing with the great stars is like barely anything. Like, Great Star's healing is good when you're hitting, like, a bunch of times. Not when you're using Prayerful Strike, I don't think. And the Blades is, like, I don't know, you're hardly gonna proc Bleed. Maybe if I threw, like, Blood Flame Blade, I could get, like, a Bleed proc, but I don't know. I'm just gonna get more damage with the Pickaxe or the Rusted Anchor. Uh, 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 mm -mm, uh, uh. That was a thought process. I'm alive, huge. Literally 1 HP, calculated. That's the perfect amount. I knew exactly what I was doing the entire time. That's exactly why I put on this armor set. My utmost thanks Not even close, exactly. And You're a fan of power sensing. Power sensing is really fun. Um, I heard that shrimp became popular in Australia after the 1736 Swiss-Soviet Compact. Seventeen thirty-six. <laughs> what? No. 
Australia was founded in what, 1770 something? That doesn't even line up. I mean, by founded, I mean founded by white people. And then genocided the indigenous. Um, favorite character, Melina. Yeah, Melina's fantastic. She's great. What the fuck is this? I'm not gonna lie, Prayerful Strike? Kinda boring. Gonna keep it real. Should be kinda boring. Not that fun. But it's really good though. It's just a slam, yeah. And you get some health back. I feel like I probably have more fun if I leveled up some more vigor. So like I really notice like the health regen coming into effect. You know what I'm saying? Ah, fish man, it's gone on. This was an NHL game. How was your NHL game watching experience? Oh my god. Don't follow me into the boss room. You piece of shit. You fucked up my everything. Now I can't use my flame grammy strength. It's all your fault. I got a blue pickaxe and I can't even hit with it. He actually killed the guardian outside. Oh my goodness, get away from the wall, please, for the love of god. I went in person? Oh, nice. That's cool. It's a diamond pickaxe. <laughs> no way. Diamond pickaxe in Fortnite. The sequel to Among Us. Oh, my diamond pickaxe is gone. We did it. We beat the game. Blue versus gold looks cool as hell. What's Prayerful Strike? Isn't that Marika's Hammer's move? No, Marika's Hammer is called, um... Gold Breaker. Prayerful Strike is just a downward slam that gets you a bunch of health regen. Get some nice hype armor too. Minecraft only run? And it flattens enemies to the ground. And it does 36 stance damage. Ah, Felipe, thank you for the follow. She is not doing anything. That Black Knight Assassin did not want to attack a single time. Did not want to attack at all. <laughs> Trapped her in the corner. She was going nowhere. I want to do a weapon only run for fun. A weapon only run? What weapon do I recommend? The Rusted Anchor. First thing that came to mind. Health! We need health, because I want to actually benefit of getting some more health back. Sounds pretty cool. Let's go grab a staff. Is this live? Yes, we are live. Will you do a square off only run? Probably not. Square off is pretty easy. Like, I want to do the ones like... That would seem interesting, and I could probably potentially learn something off. I don't think I'm gonna learn anything off Square Off, I'm not gonna lie. I need 16 intelligence? Okay, what's the cheapest stuff in the game? We're dropping it with Cheat Engine. What an absolute... 
rip off. Ah, uh, we're not gonna do Flaming Strike either. Flaming Strike would be better. Is this pre-recorded? I saw this episode last week. Fuck. He figured me out stuff. Which is the ch cheapest stuff? Um, cheap stuff. Stuff. Astrologer stuff? Is that the one that we just got? That's the one that he was selling. The carrying Galint blade stuff? Probably not that one. The demi human stuff. Very cool. A dagger parry only run. We actually might try to do a parry only run. I don't know how many bosses can be parried. But we could try. To do a run like that. That would be interesting. Okay, give me this one. Give me this one. Aren't you in a Harry Potter? Yes. Yes, I am. Give me this one. Drink this. When will I do an Erd Tree Great Shield run? I don't think I will do an Erd Tree Great Shield run because, like, like how many like bosses could I really use that against? Unless I'm gonna pair it alongside the the bell. And it's gonna do holy damage. What is thy business with these thrones? Shrimp are actually mammals. Is that true? I could use it with Discus of Light as well. I mean, it worked best with the Triple Rings of Light. I could just probably pair it with that. Because, like, you can't really boost the damage of Erd Tree Great Shield. It doesn't scale, if anything, because, like, Erd Tree Great Shield doesn't get a Faith Scaling. So... It is what it is. Damn. No, second phase. Thank you. How much frost does this add? Probably like nothing. Oh, come on. That's fine. That's okay. I'm like not gonna proc frost with this thing at all. Like if we didn't proc frost against this guy, then it's just not gonna proc frost. Yeah, look how many hits it took. Even that one didn't even proc frost. Well, that was a waste. Let's just got respec. <laughs> they lay eggs. <laughs> it was just joking. I know. I think we know shrimps aren't mammals. Parries are fun. Who's the one that you fight underground? What are we referring to? This is not live pre-recorded. How do you know? Hello again, old friend. Allow me a moment. To you are unable prevented the thorns, a husk, the only way, and become my power. I'm see chainsaw. You have a good one, my guy. Have a wonderful sleep. Already seen this episode, but is it a good episode, though? Your ambitions. Is it a good one? The principles you, would follow. you see what I said about the bosses you couldn't parry? No, I didn't. Did he give me a list or something? Oh, for bosses I couldn't parry, I did Flame of the Red Mains plus zero dagger. Just a stance break. Well, Flame of the Red Mains got nerfed pretty heavily, so... Um, strength, vigor. <laughs> Show your feet to prove that it's not pre-recorded. Should I actually do a backflip if it's not pre-recorded? Oh my god, what am I doing now? You can use anything to break stance.
I think the best thing that could probably stand break would be like probably square off. Get all square off. Um, heavy pickaxe. Plus 14. Why are feet jokes popular now? I don't know. Maybe because people like feet. Jim, shut the fuck up. You're annoying. Go away or I time you out. Like, the joke was like funny the first time. Now you're just annoying. Like how- how- what, what more can I say to entertain the joke, you know? Jim, I swear to- if I have to like, tab off my screen, and have to click in your name, just to time you out, I don't know what I'm gonna do. I'm probably not gonna do it because I'm not bothered. Um, we're playing a FromSoft game. Discussion of feet is inevitable. That is true. Hmm. You timed me out, so you gotta time him out too. That is true. I need mods. He wants to be a mod. Should I give it to Jim? This run is not as fun as the Mogwin Sacred Spear run, I'm not gonna lie. Puts user in timeout. You're getting a five minute, actually one minute, actually no, five minutes, fuck you. Rip Bozo. I love to moderate. Well, thankfully, like my um my viewers aren't all stupid, so. But I do need mods though. It's not fun because you played the game twenty million times. I mean, I had fun yesterday. I guess I was doing a back-to-back. -back. Maybe I need to do something different today. You know, like another Ash of War run. Weapon buffs ranked when? Re weapon buffs ranked when? Um, well, I did like an incantation like ranking video, so I kind of did rank some of them already, so... <laughs> DLC prep? I don't need DLC. I mean, my, my DLC prep will gonna have all my 10 characters ready. All equipped with Lava Tears, all with Moog killed and Radan killed, ready to go to the DLC. Many Lava Tears, many stones, lots of stuff. Try the Executioner's Axe with this Ash. Why? If I, like, allowed- oh my god, really? If I allowed myself to use, like, critical attacks? DLC prep resist cheat engine? Yep. <laughs> yep. Ten? Yes, ten. You're only allowed to have ten whole characters. I'm gonna have ten characters DLC ready, and we're gonna do ten playthroughs in one day. Not in one day, obviously not, but... Merch drop when? 
What type of merchandise would you like to see? What's like Yui merchandise? I need to get the bell bearing. Yui merch. The DLC should be played blind. Um, I mean, I recommend playing every single game blind until you can't do it, until you get stuck. A Yui Remembrance? Collab with Cheat Engine? DLC Death instead, yeah. Just play the DLC, but I can just play it on mute and I just skip every single cutscene. A shirt with a giant nose? Sure. A Kanye collab when? I know about all that. I don't know about a Kanye collab. Maybe if it was the old Kanye. Going into the DLC with Faith. Because a lot of boss remembrances have incans. As soon as I find my first weapon, I'm just gonna like respec my build. I'm gonna go in with like a thousand lava tiers and we're gonna respec every 10 minutes. <laughs> Not really, but. My favorite color, I like red. Red's pretty cool. It makes you go faster. Red is speed. Ugh. Still like his music? I like his music too, yeah. I says it blue with speed because of Sonic. That's fair. But your bird is orange. It's like a red orange ish type of thing. It's like red and orange. And it's a phoenix, okay? Does my bird not look like a phoenix? I see you, Frederick. Thanks for stopping by, man. I'm sure you're going to DLC with my favorite holy bubble trumpet. Maybe I will. Maybe I will. I probably end up going with like a faith build. Probably go with like the sacred relic sword and have like the black knife in the offhand. Actually, no, I want to kind of stance break. I want to stance break some things. I don't know. We'll see. My favorite HP character, who's HP, a Harry Potter character? I don't have a favorite Harry Potter character. <laughs> it's too Twinkie to be a Phoenix, what? Taking a break of my DLC character by watching somebody else play. That's the best way to consume Elden Ring content. A Rusty collab for that weapon tier list. No. I mean, if he wants to. Not gonna reach out to him for it, though. I love not seeing where I'm going. It's fantastic. I call it a burp. That's valid. Make a minifigure, so I can fit it in a jar for no particular reason. Why are you guys like this? Oh. Any recommendations for arc builds or arcane? Um, recommendation for an arcane build. 
You can go with like the bloody hellas, that could be pretty cool. Then just go with like the dragon communion seal. Go use some spells. That's pretty fun. I never got the jar joke. Type it up. <laughs> Google images. A lot of people talk about the bloody hellas. Is it a good weapon? Yes. It is a good weapon. Pretty fun to use as well. Pretty fun. Probably not like top 10 weapons or anything like that, but um... Definitely an S tier, I think. You get like a nice iframe dodge with its weapon skill. And it's like a much more forgiving iframe dodge. Favorite movie out of the seven? Um, isn't there eight movies? <laughs> isn't there eight Harry Potter movies? And I probably Goblet of Fire. It's the one that I watched the most growing up, I guess. Pretty cool. Okay, let's go level up my shit. Why is the finger still there? It's always come. This is the run of all time. Hate those hand enemies of the passion. Yeah, what's everyone's like most hated enemy in this game? Okay, what am I leveling up again? I need this, don't I? Oh my god, everything's so expensive. We have these, so that's fine. 40,000, wow. 30,000. Okay, so let's go by six, 10. I think it is six, actually, I lie. And nine of those. Okay, let's go to get this bad boy to plus whatever it's supposed to get to plus two. Um, plus 19, that's good enough. Abductor Virgins, the grafted dude in Stormvale. The mutant birds, specifically the ones in Mogwin's Palace. Rune Bears. All very solid options. I didn't actually see... Um, Revenants. Imps? Yeah, I hate those little guys. I'm always just gonna go default to dogs. Very safe pick. Dogs are bad. Very bad. That's what I meant, Revenants? Wait, you said Grafted Dude in Stormvale. That's the Grafted Scion. Those are different, right? There's not many revenants yet, yeah, they're pretty easily avoidable. Pretty easily avoidable. Let's go put my diamond pickaxe back on. Might as well. I love how he just rolled this first thing. I didn't even get a time to even like do anything. 2,000 damage.
Yeah, imps kind of suck. They're not fun. They're like doves, but like, you know. I mean, they're basically the same thing as thralls from Dark Souls 3, and those... Those also sucked. The pest enemies are oh, the, um, the kindreds. I'm a C white. Thank you for the follow. Welcome in. What's going on? Can I get a poise break? Thank you. I can't really do anything. Oh, Shamrock with a sub. Thank you, man. Seven months as well. Damn. Absolute chad behavior from Shamrock. People have been following me for that long. I stream too much. It's okay. It's for a good cause. Another stance break. You'll love to see it. Hit him in the eye. That you missed the eye. How did you miss the eye? Hawks and farm Oslo? The, yeah, the birds and farm Oslo, right? Yeah, birds suck too. The ones at the bottom of the Halig tree. Oh yeah, that's that's the revenant, yeah. See, so, like, I feel like Prayerful Strike would be good if you don't know how to dodge. Maybe that's why I'm, like, not having, like, the most fun time. It's because, like, I'm actually just dodging all the attacks and just fighting normally instead of trying to trade out. But, like... You can't really trade out with this boss. Because you're gonna get staggered out of everything. Also rated tree spirits, yeah, they suck too. They're not fun. No, don't do that. Can you stop with the healing? Are you stop with the rolling, I mean? Ever gonna do an Elden Ring boss tier list? I have done an Elden Ring boss tier list. It's very old though. Very old. And I probably disagree with it, because it was a long time ago. I even did one like recently as well. I did like an all Soulsborne bosses tier list, although like that one... It included like dungeon bosses and shit, and like I kind of just like half-assed it, because I didn't want to talk about dungeon bosses. Mmm, that was close. I kind of rolled in like the wrong direction. The birds are like dogs with wings, yeah. It's like any enemy that just like runs faster than you and just like moves a bunch. It's like hate the Crucible Knights. The Crucible Knights are fantastic. I mean, they're probably just like better as bosses. Like fighting them as regular enemies can be kind of annoying because like I think that's just about what it is. Like if you fight these like annoying enemies as bosses, it's like fine. But when you're like going through like from area to area, you just want to fight like trash mobs. Like it's just fun to fight trash mobs. Just be that way sometimes. I have no more FP left. I can still use it. It's probably doing like a little bit less damage, I wanna say. That's a lot less damage. Hold on a second. Let me use this. I don't even know why I have this many flasks. Like, I keep forgetting to respec or reallocate my flasks. After this, reminds me to reallocate my flasks. The little shock orb enemies. I like those lightning balls. Ever tried a scythe build? Yeah, many times. 
many times. I recommend the uh, good old Grave Scythe. Go ahead, make that bad boy heavy infused. Get some Blood Flame Blade going on. Throw in like Spinning Weapon, Sword Dance, Stormcaller. Any one of those things. Then you're perfectly fine. Or you can go like an Occult Infusion and an Arcane build and use like... Um... The Dragon Communion Seal, so you can use spells. I need your opinion on skipping Dark Souls 2. <laughs> I recommend playing Dark Souls 2. If you can get it for cheap, just play Dark Souls 2. Because the thing is, if you play like the newer games and go back to Dark Souls 2, there's probably a chance that you don't like it. Because it might be like a bit more clunky. But, like even then, I don't know. It does some things well. It's like very different compared to the other Dark Souls games. Has good build creation, has like probably the most fun movesets and weapons. It does plenty of things well. It's vital for character development. I just finished DS1. Did you like Dark Souls 1? Because there's a chance that you do like Dark Souls 2 as well. There's a chance. I'd give it a fair shot. Um, okay, flasks. Six FP flasks, that's enough. A uh, barbaric raw only run? I probably should do one of those raw runs. I don't know. I just don't know what weapon I'll use. I just test out a whole bunch of weapons. I mean, I don't really care for any of like the raw Asher Wars outside of like PvP, except for like Braggart's raw. Because that one's like, this gives you the best boost. Honestly. It like depends on the weapon as well. I did do like a video comparing them all and like ranking all the raw attacks. Like Braggart's Raw, Barbaric, and Warcry. The blurbs that don't work right now. The Fist Barbaric Raw moveset? I'm not a fan, honestly. Because, like, for me, like, the best thing about Fist weapons and their heavy attacks is how fast they are. If you have, like, Barbaric Raw and stuff, it just, like, makes it a bit slow. Trolls Raw OP? <laughs> Trolls Raw is not OP. It's okay, but I wouldn't call it OP. Audio crackling? Not on my watch. Dark Souls 3 is my least favorite. It's too cartoony? I've never heard that in my entire life. What do you mean by too cartoony? What have you not done a run with? We'll go over it after the after this run. We're gonna go rank all the Ashes of War after this. I did do base draw in the yeah. I've done that already. Um, the movements and visuals made me feel like I wasn't playing a Dark Souls game. Movements and visuals made me feel like I wasn't playing a Dark Souls game. Is it because I was actually like running smoothly or like... Is it because I actually had like omnidirectional rolling and it didn't feel clunky? And isn't like a isn't like a popular opinion that like you know Dark Souls like has low contrast and the saturation isn't that high? It's pretty grey looking. 
Wouldn't like car turning mean like more bright and colorful? It's a weird opinion, that's fine. I mean, if you don't like the game, that's okay. You don't have to like Dark Souls. Perfectly fine. A double bosses run. I have done that, actually. That might be on my VOD channel. Beating the game... Of every single enemy is doubled. I think I... I'm pretty sure I did that run. Oh, I did do that run. I know for a fact I did that run. It was kind of cool. And interesting. I forgot what I used for the most part. Did I do it as a randomizer? I don't think so. I don't think it was a randomizer. Plus 19 pickaxe. Yeah, good enough figures. Good enough. There's a star scourge, great scourge, scale of int or weapon. It scales off your AR, so yeah. Not just intelligence, but your strength too. Which makes it pretty good, because obviously it gets a descaling and intelligence, which is kind of like doo-doo. Well, this is like a good place to go test out the, you know... The pickaxe. Don't throw a projectile, please. Oh, okay, well, don't dodge either. Like, anime? I feel like that Elden Ring is like more like anime, right? Do you like Elden Ring? Fuck. You stay still, don't hit me. Oh, you know what I should have gotten? The um The Ritual Shield Talisman, that'd have been cool. Enough FP? Yeah, I got plenty. I got five whole flasks. Oh my goodness. Okay, now the run's actually getting interesting. This is good. <laughs> this is good. It was it's been boring beforehand. Now I'm actually interested. Audio doesn't work. Wait, what? The audio doesn't work? No game audio? What? You don't hear it? I hear it. You could do what Star Chris did and did 10 times bosses. Yeah, no, I'm good on that one. <laughs> I'm good on that one. Um, I'm gonna go grab the Ritual Shield Talisman. Oh my god, I just got dizzy for a second. Jeez. Okay, what should I remove? Fasting in the Australian heat. The heat's not that bad. It's 27 degrees right now. And I'm not sitting inside. I got the AC on. We're chill. We chill. It's not summer right now, so... Although it's getting pretty fucking hot. <laughs> Is this boss better than the goat half light? Half-Life's a fantastic boss. When you're playing it online... Wait, I'm going the wrong way. That's for the Starfist. Silly me. What's my favorite food? Um, I'm not like a picky eater, so I don't really have like a favorite type of food. I like everything. I like Mexican food, Indian food. Lebanese food, even just like random, just hamburgers or steak, schnitzel, literally anything. I don't care. Seafood. I like it all. What's the most important is variety. As long as you're not having the same thing every single day, then. I like Chinese too. And Malaysian. Actually, all Asian, pretty good. All Asian food is banging. 
You know what? Everyone just has great food. It's all good. Anyway. Let's take off this because I have plenty of FP. We'll go with this one. Put on this. Um, I on Reddit I made a post saying that I couldn't replay Demon Souls because of the mechanics and the bad bosses. And the guy said that the old monk was one of the best from software bosses ever made. Thoughts? Um The old monk is pretty cool. It's like a cool mechanic. I don't know about the best boss ever made. It's so funny, he's like heal one time, like a thousand projectiles come out. Stay still. Thank you. Oh, you guys are so stupid. Why are you guys annoying for? Okay, that was a mistake. That's okay. This is fine. Oh my god, that's so fast. Chad, what do I do? I'm gonna die here, aren't I? Thank you, crouching animations. Oh, I'm so bad at video games. I'm so bad. I tried to like roll, I don't know. Whatever I tried to do, clearly it didn't work. Throw projectile? Nice. Huge. Look at that health back. Look at that. W. Even more health back. Look at that right there. W. Bro, you gotta like give me an opening. Wait, I can trade out. It's fine. Okay, no. He missed! Okay, you got that one. Nice. Good poise damage. Oh, why would you summon? <laughs> That's fine. That's gonna hurt. That's okay. Oh, I'm so bad at video games. What a mistake that was. That was a silly mistake. Don't throw a projectile at the same time. Don't do a belly thrust. Don't belly thrust. Nice. We're good. Everything's fine. Isn't um fighting the fatter better? It honestly doesn't matter. I'm good at both. Whatever one wants to give me an opening first, I'll take that one. I mean, like... It's better to kill the smaller one sometimes, because, like, he has less health. So you're trying to get him out of the way so you can actually get a 1v1 fight, it's easier with that. Really? But as long as you're on the other side of the map. Projectile? Nice. Nice. This is pretty good. This is nice. You don't, like, really dodge much. That's gonna hurt. That's fine. As long as it didn't get killed. Oh my god, the Black Flame Ritual is so stupid. I hate it. <laughs> oh, I want to like, go ahead and like trade out and stuff. Ah, eh, let's use it again. GG. Not seen with the Haitians there. Like, not every single type of cuisine, okay? <laughs> Some... Some cuisines are just not that great. Apostle over noble? I disagree. I like the... I don't know. It depends. Sometimes I hate them both. Actually, most of the time I hate them both. Old Monk is Miyazaki's favorite boss. Look, one thing that Demon Souls bosses actually do well is actually have pretty cool concepts. I say this a lot. Like, they're underrated in that, in that aspect. But, like, they're still pretty basic for the most part. But they actually feel like a boss fight, because they, they fight differently. They play differently than, like, the regular enemies. When you're playing, like, Dark Souls 1, the bosses there, although on average might be better, 
they just feel like just glorified enemies. And in fact, most of the bosses that you fight end up coming back later in the game as regular enemies. So they're kind of just like fighting mini bosses, really. Doesn't really feel like you're fighting a boss much. Whereas in Demon Souls, even though they're pretty basic, it still kind of feels like a boss. Because they all have different mechanics. Like the old monk is like blind. The adjudicator, you have to like hit it down to like hit its head or you can just fight it at range. Tower Knight's kind of similar. Ah, uh, Squid, thank you for the follow. Um, what else? You have the uh, false idol, which is basically just like pinwheel, I guess. But just like with more health. Like Leech Manga has like a health regen mechanic. They all have like specific mechanics. That kind of separates them from like regular enemies. And then obviously you have like your gimmick fights in Storm King and Dragon God. I never liked that God Slayer's greatsword until recently. Until I realized the dex weapon. Does that make it better because of the dex weapon? It does have a pretty cool moveset. Like the sleeping mechanic on this boss. Fuck sakes. <laughs> Australian mechanic makes you cry? That is true, yeah. It's like the first time where like I was playing these games with Demon Souls and I was like. Am I the bad guy? <laughs> is it my fault? And you really start to look at it, then it's like, no, it's no, she's like guilt tripping me. Australia is 100 percent guilt tripping. But it is like an insanely like atmospheric moment. Like the music comes in, so like all somber and sad, and it's like take your precious demon soul. It's like, damn, I'm sorry. You started this. Forgot to upgrade the weapon? True. <laughs> Wait, I bought the materials and I didn't even upgrade the weapon? Am I stupid? I will never understand why the round table hold as that type of layout. It is by far the worst hub area. Like, not only does it look like shit, but like the layout is just stupid. And you can't even like swing your weapon around. You can't like just test out like a moveset. It's like by far like the hub area I spend the least amount of time in. It's like not cool. A video on the best weapon stat for each game. Um, what do you mean by that? Hunter's dream is worse. At least you can swing your weapon in the hunter's dream. But what sucks about the hunter's dream is that you can't even like rest at the hunter's dream to like gain your health back or at all. Because, like, if you end up, like, doing something, testing some stuff out, and, like, losing health on the Hunter's Dream, and you teleport somewhere else, you don't get your health back. Same thing with, like, your bullets and shit as well. That's, like, the most annoying thing about that. It has pretty bad quality of life, which Bloodborne in general tends to have pretty shitty quality of life. Honestly. Did Jim just get bans? I timed him out, because he did it earlier, and then it was kind of stupid, then he's doing it again, so I don't know. He just gets timed out. The giant round table is cool. That's what I don't like about it. I didn't pick up a dragon smithing stone? Ah, who cares. Like, is DS1 best played with the decks? Oh. I'm, I don't think I'll make a video like that because I think it's pretty balanced. Like, for the most part, it's pretty balanced. I think the only game where you could probably say it's, like, definitive would be, like... Probably Dark Souls 3 with, like, this... Dexterity builds it as better because most things are scaled better with dexterity. But even then, it's like, you know, doesn't make strength bad. Another thing about Bloodborne's um, hub world is that it doesn't feel like a hangout place, you know? There's like no NPCs that go there except for like the Dull and then German. It feels pretty depressing, which obviously, like, I guess it fits the theme, but like it's still... Like all the games have a depressing theme, but at least like the hub worlds feel like a nice place to chill. 
doesn't really feel like a nice place to chill in the hunter's dream. Not gonna lie. I was like, the church was a hangout place. Yeah, true. That was more of a hub world. I guess because, like, you couldn't send the NPCs back to, like, the Hunter's Dream because it wouldn't make sense, right? Um. But I guess it did have it in the church. That's true. That is true. I forget about that. Because I don't really do like NPC quest lines. Because I only like really like one NPC that's there. And you kind of have to like just send the rest there. Or send them to the other place of which they would just end up dying, but... I was like your first playthrough, I just don't really do the quest lines anymore. They don't really like give you much stuff, do they? Ah, oh, as if you didn't dodge that, you silly idiot. No, don't do that. That's cheating. Hold up a second. Oh. My. Goodness. Stop moving, please. <laughs> I have no stamina. That's gonna hit me, isn't it? It didn't. Mm -mm, mm -mm. You should be allowed to repose on the Ash of War runs. Oh, that's gonna fucking hurt. Oh, that's fine. I never do, so I don't know. I've been doing these Ash of War runs for like ever, and I've never done reposting, so. Oh my god. He doesn't stop and like just let me hit him. Why is he like this? Just let me hit you. Can you like just stay still? Can I hit you, please? I only ever do the prostitute quest for the umbilical cord. I don't even do that because you can get three... Arguably like easier than the other ones. The three that you get are like pretty easy to get. Pretty easy. Play the Medulla theme in the background. Nah, because it's going to clash with the boss OST. Um, Jeweler is the best for NPCs and merchants, but Darks is on world design of the areas. Yeah, the interconnected world and having everything like linked back to the Firelink Shrine is really nice. Oh, that's okay. <laughs> I'm gonna get my health back anyway. <laughs> Even Malekith won't let us hit. True. Dark Souls 3 Firelink Shrine is pretty nice too. It's not like, it's not that cool looking. But like the layout is actually pretty nice. I like the layout. And the music is arguably like the best music as well. I'm not gonna lie. Actually, I don't know. Dark Souls 1 Firelink music and Medulla music does go kind of, does go kind of nice. But definitively Dark Souls 1, 2 and 3 have the best hubs. There's some things that the Dark Souls games just do better. And the hub worlds is one of them. Hating on the round table hold? I'll continue to hate on the round table hold. I think there's nothing good about it. Yes, we got a stance break. That's huge. I got an opening here too. Come on, hit him. Oh, we're good now. We're good now. I'm gonna go for it. I don't care. Jump. See, if you jump there, it works better. Because if you jump, you get knocked straight to the ground. And then you just get knocked to the ground and have iframes, so you actually don't take a bunch of damage. Pro strats. Good damage for a holy ash war. It's not doing holy damage. It's, it's physical damage. 
Which is like the good thing about Prayerful Strike. It doesn't require any faith at all. You just go all into whatever you want to go into and you're going to be doing good damage. And to get 30% health regen. It, you don't need faith. The Demon Souls hub was decent too, yeah. It's kind of just like another version of um, the Dark Souls 3 Firelink Shrine. I think it was perfected with Dark Souls 3 because it wasn't as obnoxious to try and go through. <laughs> But it was a very similar layout. <sighs> um, I'm sad dog died, a croc ate him, and I'm double sad my croc died. It ate a dog, and I couldn't digest. Have we tried... ...turning it off and on again? I don't know. Let's go fight Gideon Schmidian. Can you say happy birthday to my cat? What's your cat's name? A sell option to the husks would- yeah. The fact that we can't sell at the main merchant is actually disgusting. Candy. Candy, happy birthday. Hopefully you get all the best gifts and stuff. And you have a fantastic birthday. And eat all the best food. Cats or dogs? I like cats better, not gonna lie. I have to play in the Dark Souls games. I don't like dogs anymore. <laughs> They're just the worst. Her actual name is Candace, but I didn't want to deez nuts. <laughs> didn't want to give me the Ligma joke. I'm a cat person too, Brofist. Nice. And a cat's- I just like- I would vibe more with a cat, you know what I'm saying? We kind of operate on the same wavelength. Cause like, if we both like pissed off at the day, we can both just like not care about each other. Give each other dirty looks, then go about our day. With a dog. It's just like way too nice, you know what I'm saying? That's gonna hurt. Not with the rituals- Okay, that's gonna hurt. Dogs are just too friendly. They're just like likey for no reason. I like working for my love, you know what I'm saying? Gotta work for it. It's a whiff of thun? Yeah. Okay, stay still for one second, please. How does that even happen? I don't understand. Why is he like this? Nice. Huge. Dodge. Oh, this is so not good. If I die here, do you know how tragic this is gonna be? This is like my best chance of killing him. Others are gonna be stuck here for like ages. Can you do like, do Commodore Zor? What is wrong with you? He's not listening to me, chat. Thank you. Nice. Can you stop with that, please? <gasps> Huge. Huge! This is my chance. Yes! That was, unironically, the hardest boss in the entire game. My cat always begs for attention. Shaking my head. That's okay though. Is my Wi-Fi just shit or does the stream keep crashing? Um, I don't think the stream is crashing. The Liza P hub is actually really nice. The soundtrack? Yeah. I mean, the fact that you can change up the soundtrack is nice. The Lux stat was maxed. What shirt is that? This is the Nox Maiden armor. The best armor set in the entire game. Well, either one of these things. It's just nice. Have you ever scratched your balls in public? Yes! I think so. Maybe. I don't know. 
Um, what's this? Law of causality only run is literally impossible. I would like... I don't know if it's even possible to kill like a single boss with that thing. <laughs> you probably could, but... This shit is beyond useful. Or useless. Oh! Yeah, we need covenants back in this game. Actually, as long as they bring them back for like, in PvE too. The Nox Drip goes hard. Yes. Scumnut did a run with it. I highly doubt he did a run with it. He probably attempted it and then probably gave up because he would just realize that it's impossible. Um, I got a tampons ad for your stream. Okay. Stream is good for you. Cats ask for attention when they're alone for a long time, usually. I'm um, DK, what's going on? What's up? Why are you writing my name in caps? What happened? What I miss? The Friar Prelates is my favorite armor set. I thought the Lionel set is be better at being an Onion Knight. Liza P is super linear, which is what I love about it. I mean, sometimes you want to have, like, just, a, like, different paths that you can go to. If it, was, it, it wouldn't hurt if it was a little bit more nuanced, I guess. I miss my Forest Wolf Covenant. Being summoned randomly surprise, surprisingly felt non-obstructive. It was good. Covenants added a lot more to, like, the online... But they kind of like hurt the PvE though. Just having like items tied behind it. I don't know, it would have been nice if like this fleshed out covenants for this game, but they just decided to like completely just ignore it, I guess. Or just like scratch it completely. Go for my head? Look at that. Ducking animations with Ashes of War are just the best. And again, do it again. Look at that. Oh, it's so good. Is that gonna be a counter hit? Probably. I'm stuck on Horror Lure right now. Are you doing like a regular playthrough or like a challenge run? Did my shit just deflect off him? Oh my god, nice. Huge. Massive. Is he gonna do his transformer now? Is he gonna do it? He is. Nice. Oh, that's gonna hit me. I have no stamina. I have no stamina. But I have health regen, so it's fine. That's gonna hit me again, because I have no stamina. <laughs> What's wrong with me? I might like this. Uh-uh. Yeah, there's no reason to PvP in this game. Kind of sucks. Good ol' Spear Talisman coming in clutch there. GG. Scumnut finished it yesterday. He had to kill Malekith and Radagon by hitting it with a seal. No shot he did that. No shot. Mm -mm, I miss Covenants. Good memory, memories of the Forest Bros in DS1. It was just so good. It made PvP so much better. It's another thing the Dark Souls games did better. They had the best PvP too. All the like the non-Souls games. Not the same. Not the same. Doing 86 damage with Law of Causality. I just refuse to believe that's even possible. Like, it's just not. Because you have to get hit like five times. So you have to have like a thousand different healing flasks. Like, it's just not possible. Uh, uh. 
Might have got millennia more attempts, you think? What, for this run? I don't know, we'll see. We'll see, we we'll have to get through this boss first. Talisman that regen's health, so he would wait. No shot. <laughs> Someone sent me a video. And if it's not the video of what I'm asking for, you're getting banned. How about that? Uh, uh, mm -hmm. No! <laughs> I need to stop spamming when I have no stamina. Tis my own fault. That's okay. Here's a link. Oh my god, he actually did it? There's no fucking way. Is he stupid? He has to be stupid, right? You can die. Three. On oh, true, you can use a shield. I forgot you could use a shield. <laughs> I didn't think about using a shield. But yeah, it makes sense. Using like a non-100% physical shield would do it as well. That makes sense. That's still stupid. Why would he do that? <laughs> I would never. I completely forgot that you could use a shield. I don't know, that didn't occur to me. Took him a few streams. Um, Radagon and Malekith were not possible. He hit them with the seal physically. Yeah, that's understandable. I seen the exploding flask only run. Wait, is exploding flask even possible? Because you're gonna use it once, right? Unless you use like cheat engine to use like an infinite amount. I don't know. Is this any percent? Uh, we're gonna go fight like Millennia and Moog and maybe Placid Dusax and stuff. <sighs> So it's not going to be like any particular category, it'll just be a bunch of stuff of which I'd want to do, I don't know. The bosses of which it will be interesting to fight against. Godfrey took him two hours. Actually, it works with a 100% physical shield too. The more you know. No, come. That was not even close. Like, why did they even attempt to do that? That sounds awful. How much stance damage does Prayerful Strike do? It does like 36, I want to say. I don't think it matters what weapon you use as well, because everything's like a large weapon. I don't think it matters. I missed it, what run is this? It's a Prayerful Strike run. Only doing damage using Prayerful Strike. I mean, it's pretty cool when you like you don't get hit, but like I'm pretty good at like not getting hit against most bosses. But against Elden Stars, it's gonna be a pretty good counter. Because the weapon skill actually gives you 30% health back every single time that you hit with it. Look at that. Bunch of health regen. Oh, the Scun Nut run. Oh, um, the Law of Causality only. Only doing damage using Law of Causality. I would never. Never. I would never do runs that take that long. I just, I would not have the patience. I mean, I have the patience for some things. But like... Something like that, nah. Like, I could do like, shitty damaging runs. Like, I've done like a level 1 torch run. And I've had, like, fights take, like, you know, 20 minutes. I did, like, you know, Discs of Light only, and Radagon took, like, 20 minutes. So I've done, like, certain types of fights that it's taken a while. But I could never do that. How hard does this run from 1 to 10? Um... Probably about a 3. 
There were some things that was annoying, but... Honestly, it felt like just a regular playthrough. It didn't feel like I did anything special. Like, if... I, I don't know. I would have noticed the power if I actually got hit by more attacks, but I'm actually, like, pretty good at fighting the bosses. So, like, I'm just not getting hit. So, it's actually kind of boring. Maybe against Millennia would be pretty interesting. It was interesting against Godskin Duo, and it was nice. I haven't had to, like, heal much, you know what I'm saying? Because, like, the thing heals for me. So it's still really good, and you get some nice hype promo. I think you struggle on Millennia? Maybe. Maybe. A 100% shield does not work. Okay, cool. So it was a 95% shield. What's your favorite bad weapon across the FromSoft games? My favorite bad weapon? Look, I typically like hammers. So like, I don't know. I, I like to, I like weapons like the maces and like war picks, but like they're actually pretty decent in some games. So like... Um, let's go fight Commander Nial. I don't have the grace. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna go fast travel there. Favorite bad weapon? That's a good question. I mean, in this game, I like holy damage. Because <laughs> I like, I just like it aesthetically. It's pretty cool. I don't know. I typically don't like shit weapons. If it's bad, I don't like it. <laughs> Cypher parts or a coded sword? They're actually pretty good there. Like, the coded sword's actually good. I was gonna say, like, the Envoy's horn as well. Like, just a small hammer. But even that's pretty decent. I did a run with that. Like, it was only until, like, you get to, like, Radagon and stuff that it becomes a problem with those runs. What, the, um, what, Prelate's Charge? I would never do Prelate's Charge. That'd be like, I mean, I could do it, it would just be shit. Like, Prelate's Charge is an awful, awful Ash of War. It does terrible damage. Like, I guess its only purpose is to be paired alongside the Great Stars to get some health regen, and that's about it. Because, like, the damage is, like, terrible. But it's a nice way to get your health back, I guess. And the Axe of Godric, I don't like it, and it's and it's mid. Definitely mid. Oh. Can you like not block my stuff? Thank you. Okay, I wanted to like at least trade out with one of those attacks, but apparently he staggered me with every single one. Oh, the weapon itself? Um, no. I, I didn't really typically do wep like runs with his like weapons. As I have like something like unique going for him, which it does have like a unique heavy attack. I don't know, like a, a heavy attack run would be kind of cool, but I didn't think it'd be like that interesting. Ah, uh, Roach, it's gonna man. The ladle? You fasting? Yes. Um... Okay. I have no more FP. Despaid Freighter? Nice. How was it? Easy game. Another poise break. Simple stuff. It is pretty brain dead, honestly. You can just like sit there and just like spam and it just works. <laughs> it just works. Let's go fight Loretta. Oh, Loretta's gonna be cringe there. That'll be interesting. <laughs> We're just gonna go teleport there. I'm not bothered to run, I'm not gonna lie. This run hasn't been that interesting for me to like want to run there. 
Uh, Nial's foot run is a fun one. I have done that already, yeah. Cyber Parter and Crater Sword are also special in that they are like... Only weapons that don't bounce and barricade. Oh yeah, true. I mean, it's like this unique in the fact that it's like a weapon that gets a pure faith scaling. And like doesn't really weigh much. And doesn't get requirements in like any other stat, so... That's pretty cool too. A Pest Glaive run? I'm not gonna just... <laughs> no. I'm not doing a Pest Glaive run. Does Poise help with the Hyper Armor or the Ash War? That is something that I do not know. Honestly, something I don't know. I don't think so. But it might. It probably does, actually. They probably stack with one another. I probably like Hyper Armor is like a flat amount. And it probably stacks with the Poise that you have. The O'Neill cheese while you're using like the geysers and stuff, yeah. I saw a video you posted on bleed weapon ranking. Have you really done a run with every single one? Yes. Yes. Well, every single thing that has like a unique skill I've basically done a run with, and everything else I've basically just tested it out. So if it was like a weapon like, you know, um, to say like the Uchi Gitana. I haven't necessarily did a run with that, even though I think I have, but... <laughs> but if it's like a unique skill, I, I would have done a run with it, yeah. So all the unique weapons I've basically played with. And done an entire run with. Except for like a few, there's like a couple that I haven't done a playthrough with yet. Some nice poise damage. Oh, we can tank. Oh, that's so nice. This is good. This is good stuff. You don't like have to think, you don't have to dodge or nothing, and this is nice poise damage too. This is good. Does it get hard? Not really, no. Wait, give me my thing back. Full health. I might have done Loretta's Slash only. Walk into it. Nice. Beautiful timing. Flawless timing. The Ant Skull Shield is magic. For Eldering Hardness is weird? What do you mean by that? What does that mean? We're doing alright. Was that a Somber Stone or was that a Smithing Stone in that chest? Because my shit's still at plus 24. <laughs> I thought it makes a difference. A Sigurd boss run. <laughs> I was fully expecting there to be a secret boss fight, and there wasn't one. Isn't the Great Stars better for this? Not necessarily, no. We're using the pickaxe because it does piercing damage, so like when you try and trade out, it's just going to do like a lot more damage, and paired along to the Spear Talisman, it'll just do like so much more than the Great Stars. And like, Great Stars only gets like, what, 1% bleed per hit? It's like, it's not much. The Rusted Anchor probably would have been better. We're just going with the Pickaxe because, I don't know, I thought it was going to have more range than the Rusted Anchor, but I don't think it does. But yeah, Rusted Anchor probably would have been better. Either way, it doesn't matter. It hasn't been that challenging of a run. <laughs> Has not been that challenging. And if I had like Great Stars and like Blood Flame Blade, I probably could have procced Bleed like... Maybe like once in a fight against some of these bosses, but... I don't know. 
I'd probably just rather have the boosted damage. With the pickaxe, honestly. My um, playthrough with the Rusted Anchor was easier than my Blasphemous Blade. I think Fire Giant fucks my brain. I mean, that's just a problem that you run into when you use the Blasphemous Blade, but... Like, if you have a Faith-type build, you can just go ahead and... Throw on, like, Ancient Dragon's Lightning Strike and... You'll be perfectly fine. I passed an Ancient Stone? That is true, I did. I passed a couple, actually, but that's fine. Plus 24 is... It's... It's, it's okay. <laughs> it's perfectly fine. You hype for the Arc Thrones, um... I don't know about hype. But it looks pretty cool, and I probably will play it. It gets released like in three days, right? I, we might play it when it comes out, we'll see. You passed the Kidney Stone. <laughs> the Ant Skull Plate Shield has a higher hardness than all the other Great Shields. And so it'll make the, uh... Curve Swords, Curve Great Swords, Great Axes... Fist Bounce when one-handed? Oh, really? I'm not like a shield aficionado, so I don't really know much about shields, but... That's interesting. So it's like, is that like a hidden stat? Or is that like tied to stability too? It would be tied to stability. Demo's on the 15th. What day are we in right now? The 13th. Well, for me at least. So yeah, three days. Um. Best Elden Ring streamer? Me? Fight me? I mean, I, I think that's not really like a hot take to say it in my chat. I think you should go to somebody else's chat and say it. <laughs> then I think people will fight you. There's hardness tiers for every weapon shield. Okay. That's pretty cool. And the fastest ancient dragonstone is the... yeah. Next to the river is a blood guy. Yeah, I didn't pick it up because I wasn't bothered, honestly. <laughs> wasn't bothered to run into the skull. Okay, millennia time. Ugh. Hopefully this doesn't go, like, too bad. We'll see. Six FP flasks. Yeah, should be right. Wonder how long the Arc Thrones demo would be? Probably wouldn't be that long. Where's Jim? He's timed out. Am I a light load? No, we're definitely medium load. Two K damage. Like, one more hit to Waterfowl Dance. How did we both miss? <laughs> how did we both miss? That's honestly impressive. How did- like, how did that- <laughs> Like, surely one of us had to hit there. Oh my god. Okay, don't do Waterfowl Dance. Wait, I said wait. Oh my god, the recovery frames, for the love of god, holy shit, please. Like, after you've done the animation, stand up. Could just, like, trade out every single time. Could just do that. One thing I should have picked up was the, um... The Dragon Crest Talisman. I didn't do that. Probably been better to have than the, um... Ritual Shield Talisman, not gonna lie. Yeah. 
Oh, why do you dodge? Why are you dodge for? Oh, she like knew what I was gonna do. Do I need more FP flasks? Surely not. Hit her! Just kill me, I don't care. Um, like getting hit by a grab attack sets you back so much because she heals so much. She heals so much off that. It's just so much health that she gets. It's like 10 minutes of fighting just going down the drain. <laughs> I used like two flasks there. Or oh, then again, I used like half my FP on this buffing, so. The randomizer has an option to disable Millennia's heal on a hit, yeah. It do be having one of those. Mm -mm. I could have attacked there, but I was like, you know what? We're gonna be responsible. Haha, uh, I get health regen too. Oh, uh, consume so much stamina. No! Why? Why do you input read? Oh, come on, man. This is so stupid. That's not funny. That's not cool. Not cool. I'm going- I'm using it again. Not cool. I mean, it staggers are in like two hits. Do you know how, like, annoying you are? This is not bad. This is the one I go. If I just use it back to back again, and then she does that. <laughs> Don't do the follow up. Nice. Nice. Very nice. Now you can do it. Okay, that's fine. Nice. Nice. We're doing okay. Let's go use Golden Bow again. We have three flasks left. That means we used half. And she has less than half the amount of health left. I should've just like ran in there earlier. I was gonna get my health back anyway. Oh, you can't even tank a kick. That was a mistake. That was a mistake. And I couldn't dodge there because I had high paramo. Oh, okay. Not gonna do that anymore. Not gonna do it. Because if she does like, I don't know, I was just banking on her not doing the follow-up attack and then she just did. <sighs> she just did. I might need another FP flask. I'm not gonna risk it. Let's go get another one. I don't know why I don't put more points into mind every playthrough. I mean, I have 20 mind. That's enough. Okay. We're gonna be okay. Everything is gonna be fine. Why? Why? There's no need to do that. Why do you dodge? Do you know how annoying you are? Stay still. Oh, the one time you don't do the... That's fine. We're not gonna get mad. Everything's fine. See, why didn't you do that one? That was the one I was expecting you to do.
Chat, she doesn't like me. I don't know what to say. She just doesn't like me. There's no other way to say it. She's not a fan of my content. Oh, she's gonna do Waterfowl Dance? No. She's just gonna dodge the attack instead. Just kill me. For some reason, I thought I could just run around that attack, but no, she just has like the most insane hitbox for that grab, which I guess makes sense. I don't really see her do that grab attack like at point blank range. I was like, let's see if I can just dodge around it. Now we know that we can't. Let's not do that again. <sighs> she wanted her sword to be a top 10 weapon. Yeah, well, it's not. She should have let it be just as powerful than when we had it, okay? Nice. Nice. Is that Waterfowl Dance range? I think one more hit. She's so annoying. Do your Waterfowl Dance, hurry up. Now stay still. That miss? She's gonna kick me. Oh, I traded. Don't move. That's fine. She makes me like unreasonably mad when she does that attack. I'm not gonna lie. I need to stop trying to predict that she's just not gonna, like, it's fine. That's okay. It's not that big of a deal. That's fine. How could you poise the kick now? Maybe because, like, it's just, I don't know. It was probably like the later part of the animation that was kind of like guaranteed, I guess. Before it was like the first part of the animation, it probably just didn't count. Probably like more high parameter there. What did I say? I said don't do that attack. But it's fine. It worked out this time. That's what you get. Oh, come. That's Waterfell then. Why don't you do Waterfell then? Why did she do that for? According to Google, it's the four-year anniversary for the COVID lockdowns. Nice. Hell yeah. I love lockdowns. Okay, be responsible. I just hate she has so many 50-50s. Nice. This is doing well. Get my stamina back. Use it again. Walk into it, please. That's okay. As long as I heard it too. I'll take that. How much damage? It's a double swiping attack. They shouldn't do that much damage. That's cheating. This is the run. This was in fact not the run. What? Okay, first of all, we need more slashing type of resistances. Clearly, clearly we need some more slash resist. Shit's getting out of hand. Give me that shit too. Give me that shit too. I don't care, it's fine. This is good enough.
No, we just, this could be better. Okay, now we're good. Character looks a bit more normal than usual. It's because I'm playing as Kratos. It's Kratos. Don't do the... Oh. My. Goodness. It's okay. We can get my health back. It's okay. She just doesn't make sense. You know what I'm saying? Like, it just doesn't make sense. We're going for it. I don't care. Nice. I thought I could outspace that at that distance and clearly not. Clearly not. <sighs> Maybe you're just bad at this game. True. 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 Okay, I should probably go take off the Ritual Shield Talisman. I'm not really benefiting off this. Let's go grab... Um... The Dragon Crest Talisman plus two, because I never pick it up and I don't know why. Do you think Black Flame Ritual is good? No. I think it's very mid. It's like too high for requirements and too expensive for like what it actually does. Because like I only like ticks like three times and you could just do like way more damage for like less FP. With like the other spells, but like its use is that you should like use it and then like try and fight enemies inside of it at the same time. That's basically its use. I don't need any tears, like with the strength tier and the health regen tier is doing fine. You know what I should do is probably get Morgoth's rune, but then again I'm just gonna die anyway. Because great runes suck. I have one great rune. <laughs> And I'm not bothered to go get more God's Greater in. So, uh, go back and get the thing. <laughs> go back and get it. Um. I feel like I wanted to get something else and I forgot what it was. Oh, yeah, I want to get a Dragonstone. Oh, but I'm not bothered. It's fine. We'll go get one. Stop being a bum. Go get the Dragonstone. The Talisman and the Halleck Tree better? What? Talisman and the Halleck... Oh, the other one? Yeah, but it's like further away and I don't know where it is exactly, I'm not gonna lie. But it... It, it would be better. That is true. <laughs> where is the Great Shield Talisman? Where is it? Why did you get no maps? Because I know where I'm going. I know where I'm going. I've played this game enough. Let's actually go level up. The chest above the Millennia Elevator? So can I go activate that elevator right now? Oh, where the pesta is? Is it like on the roof or like... Why can't you sell to this guy? Need a desert area in this game? You drop from the roof. Okay, cool. So you drop from the roof, is it on like the same platform? Or is it like on like the rafters, hey you drop from like this- Oh fuck. I think I kind of know. Yeah. It's 
this like hole right here, you drop on like these things, right? Not that one. <laughs> that one? Do I smoke? No. Oh, there it is. There it is. Pick it up! You silly goose. That's fine. Um, we have the talisman. That's good. Oh, please, can you, like, do the thing that I want you to do? Did I level the weapon? Yeah, I did. Yeah, I did. 77,000? That's fine. I was, like, one level anyway. Exactly one level. <laughs> That's fine. Don't care. Let's actually go equip it. That would make sense. Going for it. That was such a fucking shit dodge. Why has my nose been itchy like this entire fucking run? Honestly. <laughs> What's been going on? Okay, stay still. Thank you. Stay still again. Oh, I fucking wasn't paying attention. I WASN'T PAYING ATTENTION! Oh god. Okay, so we have that, that, I don't know right now. We'll be fine. We'll be okay. You can't outspace her long-ass katana? I literally just did one of those attacks. I did. Because I can lunge, and she can't lunge. And like, that attack doesn't go that far, so... This is the chosen run? Okay, you have to like, walk forwards. You couldn't just like, just strafe to the side, you know what I'm saying? That's cheating. Enemies are there for law reasons. Can you stop? That works. Oh my god, I'm gonna fucking get hit here because I have no stamina. I never have stamina! This thing consumes so much, I should have put points into endurance. I'm so stupid. You know what I should have put on? I should have got... I don't know, it's funny, who cares. I need to... I'm gonna respec. If I die again, I'm gonna respec. I have like so many wasted points. I have points into like intelligence and fucking dexterity and shit like I don't need. Don't need. I want 30 endurance. This is just... Uh, I hate this shit. Don't do the follow-up. Thank you. Well, the 70k that I lost was enough for like one level, like that's not, that's not that big of a deal. I have 20 endurance right now. I would like more. This is fine. 
Why do I speak? Why do I speak? Could have been at 21. I was gonna put it into the Vigor anyway. That point. So let's get running there, Hickers. Get my health back anyway. I could have used it there, but I don't know. Kind of scuffed. Nice. Good counter hit too. Nice, that's good. I like that. That's good. I'm gonna use it again. Hopefully... Oh, stop with that attack! Stop! It's like the perfect like timing as well. Like the, at the exact amount of speed that she needs to get those attacks off and just outspace me. It's like so frustrating. <laughs> Jump up. I'm using it, I don't care. No, 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 no. Such a fucking stupid mistake, man. Why do I do the things that I do? Why am I like this? Nice, I got my health back. That was good. And I just... <laughs> oh, it's fine. Um, that works. I'll just heal up here. It's for the best. Let's go use this. I can drink this as well. Let's go run in there, who cares? Get my health back anyway. She might do waterfowl dance. I'm going for it. Oh. That's fine. I'm going for it this time. Surely it works this time. No! Why is she doing the double swipe? Why is she like this? She doesn't like. Oh, why? What is this RNG? She hates me. She's the worst. She's actually the worst. <laughs> Meanwhile, my entire Golden Valve buff were off. Uh, I have to heal here. I don't want to, but like, I don't want to risk it. Jump up. Jump up. Thank you. I'm using it again. Oh, huge. Actually huge. 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 As long as you did that one, not the other one. Okay, jump up, please. Thank you. I'm just gonna use it again, see what happens. Yeah, valid. Hmm. I'm using it. Nice. Oh my god. Doesn't Gold of Ash War give you 90 seconds too? No, it gives you 45 seconds, I believe. It's like half the amount. Anyway, easy game. Let's go fight the Mogulester. That was easy. I'm sorry. First try, literally first try. Endurance, I need stamina. Okay. Flaccid sex? I don't want to do flaccid sex, that'll be boring as hell. Um, Cocoon of the Empyrean. That's in fact where we're going. 
I don't know how to spell cocoon. Waterfowl is not the hardest attack in the game. Um, what's the hardest attack in the game? I'm trying to think. Ah, eh, whatever, who cares. Okay, stay still, let me get this attack off. Thank you. Elden Stars? I mean, like... Elden Stars doesn't do any damage, you can just ignore it for the most part. Unless, like, you're doing, like, a level 1 run. If you're doing a level 1 run, then Elden Stars is a pain in the ass, but, like... I know, you, you, it doesn't even do any damage. Of course that happened. Hurry up! Do it faster! You're so slow! Holy shit, you're so slow! You're so slow. That's the slowest thing I've ever seen in my entire life. That was so slow. Could you hurry up? Speed it up the process. Like there's a guy in front of you with a big ass spear. Move. Dodge. What are you doing standing there forever? Why do I have infinite stamina? I think it's because I teleported there with cheat engine. Now I don't have an infinite stamina anymore. Oh. Come here. So I like doing these Asher War runs sometimes. These Ashawa runs can be like <laughs> really annoying. <gasps> it went over my head, and I have no stamina. What else is new? Okay, we're not gonna do it again because clearly. It doesn't work. So what we're gonna do instead is be normal. Nice. I need FP. Nice, good RNG. We take those. Poise break, please. That's fine. He's like literally one more hit to a poise break. Probably not anymore, because it's been a while. Come on. Go over my head? Oh, fantastic. Love when that happens. I could've used it again, but I don't know. Just in case he attacked. Which he wasn't really, but... Go over my head. Oh, that's so good. I love that so much. Poise break. I'll just die anyway, that's fine. We did it! I didn't get mad a single time as well. That was actually good. Didn't get mad a single time. This nerfed? What? They nerfed? No. This weapon skill? No. No. Ugh, oh, okay, that's fine. We ended up doing it. First try, exactly first try. We're not doing any more boss fights. I don't know how I feel about this weapon. Or this skill. It's nice! I didn't even have to, like, use my flask the entire time. 
like it was pretty good against some things. It might be like more useful like if like you're going from like boss to boss and not necessarily for the boss fights themselves. I'm not fighting the moose, no. <laughs> the rest of the boss fights are boring. Um, okay, let's go rank all the Ashes of War. I mean, I have a ranking already, but we've got to go, like, over it and stuff, you know? You feel me? Feel what I'm saying? The recovery frames are brutal. That is true. Ah, uh, Roberto, it's gonna, man. Um, okay. Ash of War ranking. Let's go reorganize this, because this is wrong. Why is the moose even a remembrance boss? I don't know. Um, okay, cool. Golden Vow, number one. That's gonna stay at number one. I don't care what anyone says. Um, Giant Hunt, number two. I have a Lion's Claw. I think in terms of ease of use with the infinite hyper armor, probably Lion's Claw is better. I can't front, I'm not gonna lie. Giant Hunt's like just as good though. I think Giant's Hunt can perform better, but like, Lion's Claw is easier to use. Um, Flaming Strike, that's valid. Stormblade is a projectile that makes the game very easy. Um, Blood Blade, yeah, that's cool. Um, Square Off over Unsheath. It does more stance damage, but this like, is like, much faster. It's like, this thing, I, Square Off has like, a dog shit recovery frames as well. Even the recovery animations for Square Off aren't that forgiving. No, this is not unique, no. Just Ashes of War. Ashes of War. Unique skills are called unique. I just called skills, you know? I don't even know why we call them Ashes of War. Like, why the fuck do we even call them that? Like, the items are called Ashes of War. Like, why did, as a community, we decide to do something so stupid? Like, like the item is called Ash of War. And this, it's, and it's, but the actual thing is called a skill. They're called skills. They're weapon skills. Why did we, as a community, fuck up so bad? Are we stupid? Anyway. Um, Cragblade. I think Cragblade is better than... Keep calling them weapon arts? Why did they change up the name? Like, there were weapon arts in Dark Souls 3, then they changed them to skills. But like, Ashes of War is the item. The item of which you infuse the weapon into. You know what I'm saying? Like, the Ashes of War is the item, and it gives you a skill. See? Item? Effect? So I guess when I say Ashes of War, I mean like, just the ones that you have- that you can infuse. The unique skills are just called unique skills. That's the way I separate them. Um... I put Cragblade at number three. Royal Knight Resolve, I like a lot as well. But I think Cragblade kind of outclasses it for the most part. Ice Spirit number 11? Maybe. It doesn't go that far, and the animation is pretty slow, and there's no tracking. But it still has an S tier. Spinning Slash is top 10. Nah, I think it's fine there. Like, the only reason I would ever use Spinning Slash is to pair it with a, cur um, a Curve Sword, because the Curve Sword doesn't get Impaling Thrust, and you can't put, like, you know, something cool, like, square off onto it. That would be, like, its only use, is for a Curve Sword. Because Curve Swords get, like, dog shit Ash of War options. But, like, in every other instance, just use Impaling Thrust as its battle. Um... Do I like Ice Beam more than Roll Not Resolve? Probably not. Roll Not Resolve can like output so much damage. But then again, projectiles just chase the game. I like it better than Stormblade, actually. It does frost as well. Why is it that slow? Why is Stormblade that high? I mean Stormblade is really good. I think projectiles just cheese the game. This makes it pretty easy. I think that's valid. There's Prayerful Strike. We just did a run with it. 
And what are my thoughts? I'll see you, fish man. I've heard double slash over spinning. Am I sleep? I mean, the thing is, the reason why I would ever use spinning slash is because it actually gets good stance damage. That's why. Because spinning slash actually staggers well. It's like a, it's a good pairing with a curve sword because it just it staggers nicely and it does good stance damage. You can't do that with double slash. But double slash is better DPS. I think the only one who thinks impaling thrust over piercing fang. Yeah, probably. Impaling thrust is just like so much faster, and it gets like just as much stance damage, but like just less damage overall. Like the speed is like makes it amazing. Obviously, impaling goes further, but like the speed that impaling thrust has makes it useful in like every single instance. Piercing fang is much more like situational. What's first, Golden Vale? Um, Spectral Lens should be higher than Prayerful Strike. Where's Spectral Lens? Ah, fuck. Um, Spectral Lens only scales with Arcane. That's good. It, the Spectral Lens damage is kind of ass, I'm not gonna lie. But it's like really good at stance breaking, that's why it's that high to begin with. And it still has a projectile, but like the damage isn't even that good. Piercing Fang has way better tracking, yeah, but you don't need to have tracking when you're that fast with Impaling Thrust. Where does Piercing Fang even at anyway? Okay, probably shouldn't be in the B tier. <laughs> probably shouldn't be in the B tier. Um, it's a solid A tier. Maybe we'll do a playthrough with Impaling Thrust before I do this. Because I've used it a bunch, but I haven't done a whole playthrough with it. I mean, other I haven't done a playthrough with Impaling Thrust either. Um, Wild Strikes, I think, deserves to be there. Prayerful Strike, Black Flame Tornado deserves to be there. Braggot's Roar kind of deserves to be there, too. This is, like, more situational. 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 Yeah. 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 That's pretty solid. That's pretty solid. Horror, Lose, Earthshaker, and Sacred Blade. The thing is with Prayerful Strike, it wasn't... Like, it was easy, but like the run was just fucking boring because I know how to dodge. But if you don't know how to dodge, it's actually pretty good. I think it's a solid S tier. Probably like a lower S tier, though. But the thing is, like, when I do my Ashes of War, it's not just based on performance, it's based on how useful they are. Like, what is like Prayerful Strike? There's no, like, counterpart to Prayerful Strike. Whereas things like Stormcaller, Spinning Slash, Double Slash, they're like kind of things that you could use with these weapons that can get a very similar effect. You know what I'm saying? Kinda. Spectral Lance is pretty unique, but... Mm. Should I put Spectral Lance in the S tier? Maybe. I'll put it in the S tier, why not? Why is that? Why is my Spotify showing up? Go away. I don't see any lightning ashes on the list. Lightning ram is right here. The best ash of all. The best lightning ash of all. It's actually really good. It does amazing damage. Flame Blade Phalanx is like a poise breaking machine, but like its damage is dog shit. Um, Waves of Darkness is pretty good. Psych like, and Earth Shake is pretty good too. Like, this is a solid A tier. Sacred Blade is amazing, but like, you know, holy damage. Like, if you're gonna go- I'll just go with like, Flaming Strike or some shit, you know? I don't like Sword Dance, I'm not gonna lie. It's like a long animation that's point-blank range, but like, it's nice damage, and it is pretty fun. But, like, if I have like, a Great Axe or some shit like that, I'd much rather just put on like, Wild Strikes. It does like a very similar, it has like a very similar effect. But like, I feel like it just does more damage. Cheaper, and you actually get more hype armor too. Um, Eruption is pretty good also. Spinning weapon. I need to go look back at my spinning weapon playthrough. Because this shit is actually good. This shit fuck shit up, I'm not gonna lie, I wanna put it into the A tier. 
I'm putting it into the A tier. I actually like it better than Lightning. Actually, no. Actually, I don't know, man. It's been so long since I've done these playthroughs. It's hard to try and compare them and look back at them. Um, Thunderbolt, it's cool, but it doesn't stagger very well. Karrion Grendor is A tier? Um, yes. Karrion Grendor, like, destroys bosses. It's just, like, a very long animation. But you can go check out my run on the VOD channel. It does, like... It does so much damage in one hit. It's actually amazing. You could even argue S tier, honestly. But I think A tier is pretty solid. Um, Bloody Slash. No, we didn't like Bloody Slash, did we? Well, no, we did. We liked Bloody Slash. Bloody Slash was a good damage. What the- which is- what is this? This is at the B tier. No, Bloody Slash is A tier. No, I take it back. This is better than Sacred Blade. What was, like, the purpose of Bloody Slash again? What did we use it over Blood Blade? It was against, like, more mobile enemies, wasn't it? Like, it performed better against mobile enemies. By every other instance, I'd rather just use, like... Um, Blood Blade. Oh, and if you're going up against enemies that can't be bled out, that's another thing. Yeah. Because Blood Blade is only good at doing blood loss build up. Bloody Slash. An S tier early game? I didn't think so, because it still takes away a chunk of your health. Because you can get blood- you can get, um, Blood Blade just as early as Bloody Slash. All you're gonna do is just pick up the, uh, medallions. Go straight to the Altus Plateau. Um, pick it up. Why is Crag Blade so high? 15% more physical damage. Like, if you have any types of strength build, you put Crag Blade on it, and you're doing so much more damage. And it does 10% more stance damage, too. It's like this the best pairing with, like, so many weapons. Like, if you use, like, a Colossal weapon or some shit, even, like, most, like, Great Hammers, Fists, it's just, like, the best thing to have. It's just so- it's fucking stupid. If you're gonna go with like a charged heavy attack build, like anything that has a good charged heavy attack, you basically use Cra Craig Blade. It's just a thing to use. No love for regular Earthshaker? No, because I feel like Ways of Darkness does the exact same thing but better. And Horror Lose Earthshaker is just gonna be the better physical version. In my opinion, Horror Lose Earthshaker is actually pretty good. Stormblade 7, is that that good? Yeah, it is. Thing is, like, projectiles just make the game so easy, and this is, like, incredibly quick. And it's, like, not much FP. And you can, like, consecutively cast it over and over again. Like, I know, every single time I play the game with projectiles, you just notice how much easier it actually is. Stormblade is not ever rated. <laughs> Is lying. Go do a playthrough of Stormblade. Where's Beastroll? Beastroll is gonna be lower because Stormblade just does more damage. But right, actually, Beastroll can do more damage per hit, but Stormblade um, can be casted faster, so therefore you get higher DPS for Stormblade. You had Ice Spear. It, Ice Spear is very much higher than Stormblade. Like, can you see that Ice Spear is here and then Stormblade is here? Can you see? Uh, 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 uh. Giant Hunt's not number one. I think number four is a pretty solid spot. The difference between number one and number four is, like, not that big of a difference. Like, this, like, this is, like, a separate tier. Like, there's 90-something Ashes of War. Like, the difference between number one and number five is not that big. Honestly, the difference between number one and number fucking 30 is not that big of a difference, honestly. There's not that big of a difference. Just don't agree with Stormblade? Have you used Stormblade? This shit's fucking easy. It's free attacks. Do I have to go show you guys how good Stormblade is? And it staggers enemies too, that's, that's another thing. Yeah, Beast Roar doesn't stagger like sm um, larger enemies. So if you want to like stagger like, you know, um, probably like Millennia, the Omen enemies, Knights, 
Stormblade can actually stagger them. And it's like not much FP at all. I don't think I have a build for this, but it's fine. This shit is just free. It doesn't do much stance damage, but like you don't need stance damage, you know? It does 10, so you actually honestly could probably stance break against some enemies, but very rare that you do. And if you hit a point blank range with a weapon, it's just gonna do even more damage too. Which makes it even better. What's my fucking build out right now? Dexterity, whatever it goes. 30 dex. I think it scales off your AR or like just your strength and dexterity. I forget what it scales off. What does the wiki say? It's a strength and dexterity because it's quality based. That's true. Look at it, Stagger Steven. How much FP is it? It's 10 FP for the first cast and 6 every other cast. And this is like a 30 dexterity, no buffs, nothing like that. And you can hit with a point blank range. Look at that, barely consumed any FP. So it's actually fucking good. Projectiles make the game easy. Why is Cragblade so high? Um, because 15% more physical damage, 10% more stance damage. So any type of heavy attack build that you want to go with, Cragblade is the best option. It makes it makes weapons like the Star Fist and the Giant Hunt, or Giant um, Crusher, the Pickaxe, anything like that. Or if you want like power stance, if you want a power stance strength weapons, the Cragblade is just always going to go on the offhand. You just get so much more damage and just more stance damage. Like, it's just... It's just free. Very useful. Very useful. Which dinosaur is the coolest? Probably like the Spinosaurus. Um... I love Phantom Slash. I'm gonna leave it there in the A tier. Absolutely based. Determination, Thunderbolts... I didn't like Thunderbolt though. Because Thunderbolt doesn't even stagger enemies. Is it in the B tier? Yes, yeah, the B tier, it's fine. Um, can you buff the weapon with a blood flame blade with stone blade? It's not gonna work at a distance, but it'll work at point blank range. Um, Ekisaur, thank you for the follow. Lightning slash kinda ass. I need to run with the stamp ones. Sepiku got nerfed way too hard. Hawfrost Stump is not too bad, actually. It's a good way of procking Frost. It's a nice, I don't know, I might put it into the A tier. I actually like it. And it's pretty cheap, too. Okay, you convinced me? Look, we'll, we'll look, I don't know. It might not be number 7. I'm not sure if it's above Blood Blade. I don't know. I probably not about Bloodblade, honestly. Whoa! What the fuck is this? Hello? Jeez. I need a new fucking keyboard. My X button is coming off. The hell was that? It's good when it doesn't glitch and not do anything. I gotta go look back at my playthroughs. Have you ever beat the game twice in a row in one stream? I did it so many times. You can go check out my VOD channel. I used to do like twice or two streams or two runs in one stream. Yui VOD. Like how long ago was it that I used to do like... Yeah, like here. Just two, two playthroughs in one stream. Ornamental Straight Sword, Gargoyles. That's two playthroughs, that's two, that's two, that's two. That's 
That was my spinning weapon playthrough. The flowing sword. How was this playthrough? Was it good? At, I forget how good this was. Seen. It's not the opening of which I want. This guy's the other ugly. Opening, fuck. I'm kidding. Thank you. Oh, that's big that's boy damage. damage. And it's a quick recovery frames too. Yeah, it's pretty good. <laughs> it's pretty good. I remember liking it. So yeah. I'm um, Horror Lou. Urshaker. How much stance damage did it do? I think it did a lot of stance damage as well. Fifteen stance damage on the initial shockwave, twenty on the slam, and twenty on the follow-up. That's over fifty stance damage. Where the fuck did I put it? Hell no. <laughs> Get that bad boy higher. Hell nah. <laughs> that was 50 stance damage. I mean, it was a pretty long animation. But, like, it does it in an AoE. And it's, like, good hype armor, too. I just don't think it's top 10 not better than Blood Blading, Plating Thrust, and the ones below it. I just think... I think these can perform better. But in terms of ease of use, Stormblade, like, projectiles just make it easier. Like, I don't know, every single time that I do playthroughs and I use projectiles, I'm like, this is, like, so easy. It just happens every time. That's just the way I see it, you know? And the fact that you can have a projectile attack with, like, a quality-based build, like, either strength or dexterity-based build, and you get access to, like, a, quali a, a projectile attack is pretty good. Like, if you have, like, an elemental build, I wouldn't bother ever using Stormblade. Because obviously it's not going to scale off those stats, but... It's a good way to get some nice projectile damage with those types of things. How long would it take you to get to new game plus seven in one run? I don't... No. I don't... It doesn't, like, interest me to do something like that. But, like, if it... If I had to guess, I could probably do it in, like... I don't know. I could probably do, like, two and a half hours per run. On average, I'm guessing like some of the ones will be pretty pretty hard. Like once I get to new game plus seven, it might be pretty challenging. Oh, but then again, I have to do like any prep or anything like that. It might average around about two hours per run. So what's that? Seven playthroughs, fourteen hours, fourteen to fifteen hours. I just done a grow in your top ten. That's valid. That's fine. Um, see you, Ocelot. Though thanks for stopping by, man. I appreciate it. What makes another good int melee weapon besides the Dark Moon? The, um, Wing of Astel and the Death's Poker? Moon Veil Katana? All of those things. <sighs> um, Sacred Blade, Hall Frost Stomp, Vacuum Slice. I would only ever use Vacuum Slice when you can't use Storm. Um, Stormblade, which is only on Colossal Swords. That's the only use of Thakim Slice, honestly. Otherwise, I actually really like it. It's pretty decent. Seppuku is basically only used on, like, your offhand to be power stancing. Like, occult-based bleed weapons. That's, like, it's only used now. Um... Are you gonna make a video on this list? Yeah. I'm gonna rank every single one. I don't know when that's gonna happen, but I kinda wanna do more playthroughs first. I got some other videos planned beforehand. I still wanna make... I still wanna rank all, like, the magic types across the Souls games. I still wanna rank all the katanas across the Souls games. I wanna make another build video for Elden Ring 2. And I think there's something else I wanna do. Um... Ways of Darkness is really good, yeah. It's in the A tier. Very solid A tier. It would have been my first pick with, like, if I have a great hammer or something like that, but it is pretty nice.
Did I like Flame of the Red Mains? What tier are we in right now? This is the C tier. I think Flame of the Red Mains is better than that, honestly. I mean, I still wouldn't ever use it over Flaming Strike, but I guess it's used that it does go further and it's better for crowd control. So I feel like if you're not buffing your weapon with something and you want a way to like this, I don't know, it's still nice. I probably put it into the B tier because it's still outclassed. It's like Vacuum Slice, kinda. I want to do a playthrough with spinning strikes. Maybe I'm sleeping on this thing, because I don't like it at all. I think Storm Assault sucks ass too. This shit should be lower. This thing is actually terrible. Um, Raptor of the Mist wasn't even that bad. I actually liked that playthrough that I did with it. I think it goes solid B tier. Actually, it had some specific uses, but it still it should still be better. 10 stance damage is kind of ass for what? Hmm. Oh, Trolls Roll that low? Is this a D tier? Nah, Trolls Roll, it's not that bad. Trolls Roll does really good stance damage. I put it like, uh... Can Retaliation that high? Am I stupid? Oh, the stance damage of Flame of the Red Mains. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is like so situational. Like, it's a C tier though. Bro, it's so hard to rank this shit, honestly. Like, Warcry is not that bad, but I can never think of a situation where I'd use Warcry over Braggot's roll, honestly. So I think it goes into the C tier instead. Being that it's situational. And I think these are just like ass. In PvE at least. Earth Shake is not ass, it's outclassed as well. So it goes a bit higher. I just rather have ways of darkness every time, but And Horror lose Earthshaker, so it's just outclassed. It's not terrible. Um, bro, like I don't. <laughs> all the arrow and the shield-based ones, like I don't, I do not care. They can all get at the bottom. Sacred order and shared order, like they have like one specific use, but like outside of that, they're just like straight up trash. Basically, it's just to fight a death red bird, and honestly, like, in terms of shared order, you're better off with, like, the golden epitaph buff, buff instead. It's just literally better. Barbaric Roar has a specific use. It's not- Barbaric Roar's not that bad. I could put it, like, here. I don't know why I was so low. Where is Sword Dance? I think it's, like, in the... B tier or is it the A tier? Yeah, it's the top of the B tier. Not too big of a fan. Don't like it that much. Low tiers are hard to rank, yeah. Did I do the run? I did do a run with Poison Moth Flight. I would never use it, like ever. Like, I, I feel like there's no point of it. It feels like it kind of works like a bleed build, but just like 10 times worse. Like it removes the poison, but like, why would you want to go with a poison build to begin with? Unless you're using Deadly Poison, but if you're using Deadly Poison, it only lasts 30 seconds anyway, so what's the point of removing it? Just use an actual regular weapon skill that just does more damage. What about Unique Skills? We'll do that one another time. I want to rank these first, and then we'll rank the Unique Skills. There's some things I still got to do a playthrough with. I think Spinning Strikes is next on the list in terms of a playthrough, and then probably um, Piercing Fang, wherever the fuck that is. Just spinning strikes and piercing thing. Yeah, some shit's just like ass. <laughs> it's so hard to rank. This is like a lot harder than like the incantation ranking, honestly. 
Because, like, with the incantations, there's, like, definitive, like, straight-up trash ones. Whereas, like, a lot of it is, like, not trash, it's just, like, very situational. Like how no skill isn't last. It's because no skill at least has a use, you know? <laughs> no skill has a use. Basically. Like in the shield-based Ashes of Wars, it's just like not gonna be as good as like the weapon-based Ashes of Wars. Like for damage, right? You could just do better in like PvE. How many of these have you not done a playthrough with? I mean, a lot of the shield ones I haven't really done. I haven't done Prelate's Charge. There's probably like about like 20, honestly, that I haven't done a playthrough with. It's probably a decent amount. I've done I've done more playthroughs with the, like the unique skills than I have with these. Um, I think Reign of Arrows has its use with status arrows. Yeah, but it's still like a bow and arrow, right? Like, <laughs> But like, it is a way to proc status effects with any type of build. And it doesn't scale with anything. Where did I put it? Do I bother putting it higher on the list? Like, I don't know. <laughs> Maybe I do. It's cool, I guess. Put it into this tier, why not? It is the best one to put on an arrow. I mean, Barrage is... I don't know. Like, I would never use a bow and arrow, like, ever. They just do such bad damage. I mean, like, Barrage is, like, the best thing to have and like, Mighty Shot. Pretty good to have for a bow, but, like, they just suck. <laughs> like, bows just suck. And that's good enough. We'll go re revisit it again after I do a couple more runs. Where is through and through? Is it a unique skill? Through and through is at the very bottom. Because as an Ash of War, it's like the most useless thing of all time. Because like the only weapon that can be infused with it already has it. And you can't like infuse weapons of bows with like different things. Yeah, it was a PvE list, yeah. Um, okay, cool. Tomorrow we might just do like another Ash of War run. We'll see. And then maybe in a few days from now, we'll go play the Arc Thrones demo, and then I'll probably get started on playing Dragon's Dogma. It's probably the strategy. Um, anyway, we're done for today. That is that. Um,